and saw I'm alive. Finally, uh, work was a bit weird. Ish. Been told that somebody was supposed to be there at a certain time. Didn't come. That didn't be there at a, that certain time. Until like two hours later, and then basically they, they were supposed to leave at a certain time when I'm supposed to leave. Not even supposed to be at work, but they're supposed to be working at that time. And it's like it's a weird thing. It's a weird concept of weird sh shenanigans. But I mean, yes, we are back playing this. Uh, we're playing Zelda, the Breath of the Wild game. Game that I suck at and everybody yelling at me for. <laughs> I will be undeafening myself from Discord in a second. The funniest thing is, um, I'm just waiting for basically. Well, since no, I'll just undefin now. So it's right now. I'm just waiting for a friend to get here. So if you happen to hear them start coming in straight in and start talking, there you go. Oh yeah, we're here playing Zelda The Breath of the Thine Wild. I have not eaten yet, so basically food is coming on the way. So if I happen to like leave at some random spot, time, or start talking less, you probably know the reason. Man, I got like so much things to talk about. Like, like what? What's a good one? Ah. Like freaking talking about basically what happened to Cartoon Network. Well, I just got the rumor of it, and then basically just kind of like tried to do some research. So I don't know what positive, but I heard what's happening to it is not like having things. It's like they're not gone, but yet they're gone. So that's a thing. And then there's that stupid thing of people hating, like people hating people because basically they're laughing at people. Well, more of this is like some sort of meme trend. It's like it's a weird day. People are getting angry for, probably at this point, just getting angry. Just for the point of getting angry. And then basically about what else? Not for sure. Can give me a sec while I'm... He's like, we could go around back and forth, but like, I don't know. like I would, I'm gonna wait, like to talk about it more since basically, I haven't even said anything to Zuzu about this yet because Zuzu has a bit of a heart on what uh, Cartoon Network Studios had, so. We would have to see.
I'm gonna have to see it any sort of time. So like tomorrow, I think we're supposed to play like Subnautica. Yep, Subnautica. And then on like Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll probably plan on, yeah, Wednesday is art, which I did some uh, grinding, by the way. Just to let you know for a bit. But Thursday, I got, I want to try out a horror game besides um, Phasma. Phasma is a good game, but I feel like it's good for just basically playing with other people. So I'll just kind of put that as a or a multiplayer game. So if I ever play with like others, I hope that wants to play that, you can. Um, I wanted to try out this freaking. I always wanted to try out, what was it? Let me check freaking Sturm to have it in my library. I have a lot of games in my library, you know. A lot of them I really, really did, don't even play at all. Because they're like... Mm. The Paranormal PI. Heart, it's a very good, like, simulator game. It's only a single player, but it's a very good simulator paranormal game. I haven't done Deonologist yet, because... Well, oh, trying to figure out the reason why. Maybe because it's new and I haven't really tried it out yet. Then, actually, I learned how to get the uh, last ending of. Freaking the last ending on Mortuary Assistant. I don't know if I should stream it or just like do it personally, but I really did like like Mortuary Assistant. Like that was kind of like a grand old thing. Like there is multiple type of things like there's like lots of things I want to do. I'm just don't have the money and are the people that would be willing to play it yet uh, and just like kind of like going else to ask people just if they want to play is kind of awkward in itself especially when basically you're just this random dude and you're not really a, well, since you're, well, a dude, uh, you're not very liked a lot. Just for existing, but, <laughs> yeah. I always been learning. I always been kind of like, been the bad guy to people anyways, just by just being looked at for some reason. So I'm not really, like, upset about it, even though I should be, but I'm not really. I think it's more of the, uh, 
I don't really care because I've been so used to it. Yeah, I've been like so used to it that basically that every time we kind of see somebody kind of slanders with that type of stuff, you kind of like, like, okay, just another thing to put on the table, I guess, that add to the list of why I am a bad person. But like in the end, I still just kind of just be myself. <laughs> it's the funniest thing is like, Trying to figure out other things. Like I said, I'm just trying to talk the talk while basically while we wait for a friend to get here. Like, trust me, like, I'm gonna be like wandering around, not knowing where to go, and then basically they're gonna come in and like, like, what the frick they're doing. Hey, how you doing? Eric, yeah, I suck at saying fine name. How you doing? You lost all your points. I totally forgot that basically, uh, mixed feelings, what's happened? Got a new job? You had to go on reasonable hours? Understandable. It's like. What new job is it, though? So I've been in the new job type stations all the time. Yeah, I get that. Like basically you have to go on a reasonable hour now and stick with a job. But hey, he's like, I'm trying to be more active on Discord now, so you can always talk to me there. <laughs> Even if it's not stream. Huh. <laughs> Sounds weird. It's only weird, but um. probably important but I hope you get paid somewhat well like I get paid like but not much for just basically being a janitor over at a freaking restaurant <laughs> so
Yeah, there was there was nothing to paying pretty good. Just just until now, I was enjoying my freedom. Ah. Uh, you mean your freedom? Who said what? Oh. Hello. Hi. Look him. Talking shit about me? No, I was talking with uh, okay. somebody that just um, somebody in chat that just barely got a new job. So. Hey. Give me a second. Everything's being really cringe. Wait, hello? Hi. Oh, right, my internet went out. Yeah, I forgot about that. Give me a second. Okay. Hello. Hi. Alright, I'm sorry. It's fine. I have to lower your stream to 160 because I'm on my hotspot. I haven't reset my internet yet. I'll be right back. Alright. Where is... The Nazizu's here. I'm gonna be freaking... Certain game soon. That was a zoo, yeah. Say hi for you? All right. Now I'll just wait until she has returns. I think she just barely got into the chat, so I bet she saw that. So funny enough, I'll probably like, like halfway, I'll be probably eating because basically my, f I ordered food. <laughs> But, uh, well, she's being right back. I'll probably, uh, get things ready here now, so. Stretch. They literally went straight home, tried to get everything set up, and then just basically started streaming without even the thought of just basically anything else. So, the reason why I just ordered like some food. I think I'm trying to get earlier and earlier each time. Apparently finished up doing with this elephant whatevers.
And now we gotta go someplace with another elephant or another beast, whatever's. That I know of. Huh? I we're doing. I swear, this is like almost as big as a freaking. This probably is almost as big as this freaking map is like almost as big as like Elder Ring or something like that. Well, it feels like it that way. Oh, there we are with the big elephant. Elefanto. Um. I'm just trying to free figure out how they freaking play the controls right now. Nope. Yeah. No, oh, my food is almost here. I got it. I'm getting shiny again. You back? Oh, almost there. Hello? Hello. Hello. I'm back. I'm back. My food is here. I'll be right back. So, I'll be right back with some more. I'm going to do something stupid while I'm gone. Ah. 
goddamn internet, brother. Jesus Christ. Should be working now. What you need help with? Oh wait, he just said he got his food. Obviously, intelligence is not my strong suit sometimes. Can I be heard on stream? I can be. Also, yes, Aquirac. It's I, Zuzu, the powerful, the adorable, the arguably intelligent Zuzu. Hey, and question I have that. Ubit buns. You question what? Arguably intelligent. What do you want to say then? I don't know. <laughs> I just, that's what I heard. <laughs> I'm pretty. I have pretty cheeks. I am here. You are here, but Cartoon Network is not. I don't, what the fuck? What does Cartoon Network have to do anything? No, that's the conversation I'm about to put in. The studio is basically shut down. Oh no! So their last, like, series that they made that was original is... Yeah, that was their last one. The person that created, like, uh, no, the person that was, like, gonna do, like, Dexter, that did that Dexter's Laboratory and all that, mm -hmm. that was his last one. Which show? Don't remember what it was called. Was I it Greg of the Creek? Because that's the only one I know that, like, recently came out. But and Craig of the Creek was like really good. I just know that basically he that like it was made for 20 years and then he's like try to make it for like 20 years. And after that it was basically um that was his last thing. Other than that is this going to be like remakes but not even from the studio. Damn. So, like, the Powerpuff Girls remake? Not even from the actual studio. It's gonna be some other studio that is, like, yeah, across the, last, the ocean. The most recent and latest show was Craig of the Creek, and I think it was made by the person who made Dexter's Laboratory. Yeah, that was his... Best it one. was 100% uh, just amazing. Craig of the Creek, it brings you back to how old girl cartoons were. It was so good, and it was funny, and it was cute. Yep. That was his last writing. Damn. 100% recommend Craig of the Creek, by the way. If you haven't seen it, go see it. The reason why I'm saying this because basically he, it's not like he wanted to stop. More mm -hmm. that basically Waller Brothers was shutting down, basically. Privately yeah, shutting down Cartoon Network without saying they're shutting it down. Basically, yeah, we're not making you make stuff anymore, so you're just a brand now. And yeah. all your reboots will be made out of, like, literally somewhere near the Europe. Or, like, in India. Somewhere around yeah. there. Well, one thing I can say, people loved his work. Chances are he'll find another job and make more wonderful stuff if he really doesn't want to stop. He knew it was coming. reason why he made this last one that took him a while. Yeah. So I retweeted some of that, that, but like I'm gonna miss the old studio and its legends. So mm -hmm. all the, basically when it animates the, when it opens up, 
It's cartoon of what you're about to watch, like Dexter's Laboratory. Ed and Eddie. Man. Johnny Shatter. Bravo. Charter. Oh my gosh, Johnny, Sh Johnny Bravo was my favorite. That show has so many adult jokes I just never understood when I was a kid. Oh my god. <laughs> they were good at that. It had like a lot of dark jokes. A lot of like adult jokes that basically it will go over the head. Yeah, I never gave a second thought to them. Even now, I still don't really know half the jokes, but like some of them, I'm just like, oh my god. Like the one with the fucking clown. Mm hmm. That was. I didn't get that as a kid. I just thought, haha, funny clown go Hong Kong, but not realizing what he did to that clown. <laughs> <laughs> It's sad because that studio also is the one that actually created one of your most favorite cartoon series. Um, wasn't it? What was it? There's a lot of favorite cartoon series I have from Cartoon Network. You have to be more. Specific. But you like to sing the songs for it, like a lot. Oh yeah, Steve Universe. Steven Universe. And Adventure Time. Fucking love Adventure Time. Adventure Time, Steven Universe, Chowder, the regular show, Amazing World of Gumball. I love all of those shows. It's so sad that they're, like, just getting rid of it. Like, most of Cartoon Network shows were pretty good. Over the Garden Wall was also really good. Infinity Train was super good. Yeah, those cartoons literally were, like... The only thing that was like competing, which one was better, west or west or east, all the time. And now you can't really see that anymore because, well, the one that was actually making good west cartoons are going away. I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. God damn, I can't sneeze. I lost it. I have to sneeze though. Like I lost it, but I still have to sneeze. Just kill me, please. This is torturous. This is actually the worst. <laughs> it's torture. worse. It's worse than basically actually sneezing. It's worse than actually being stabbed. This sucks. I need to sneeze and I can't. It's like an itch I can't scratch. But yeah, I was like sad about it because when I actually saw that, I was like, "Yeah, dang!" And just like looking at all the cartoons, is like remind me of that. Yeah, that's heartbreaking. Like even the but... even the ones that basically not much people talk about, like freaking Johnny Test. I'm not gonna lie, was not the biggest fan of Johnny Test. I did not like it. Yeah, like I said the ones that were like not the biggest fan, but like it was still mm -hmm. there. Yeah, it was still there. Oh, Total Drama Island was also really good. <laughs> oh, there were also the ones that created Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Mm-hmm. That was, like, probably their biggest one. Yep. And it's gone to lost time now. To be fair, though, that one kind of got lost to time a long time ago because, um... That got... I think it got canceled like twice. And the reason why was because it was pushing the limits of what was allowed on Cartoon Network and what was allowed on Adult Swim. It, it was a, it was a, if I'm not mistaken, it was supposed to be an Adult Swim show. Mm hmm. That was borderline between the two. Yeah. And then it kept pushing it. And they're like, look, either you move to Adult Swim or we can cancel you. But like, you know, the viewership for Adult Swim wasn't that high. So they were just like, We'll just stop doing that, like, but then they didn't, so... <laughs> like, oh, well, and it's true, but, like, they're trying to find ways to actually, like, borderline it. Mm-hmm. Which what made them really good about it. Chris was my favorite character, dude. I feel amazed that the Green Power Ranger and Zim were the same people. It was the dude that was also had like the big braces. <laughs> All of them the same voice actor and actor. 
that was the same thing in um fucking what's it called a regular show, right? Mm -hmm. The producers were the voice actors, <laughs> and like they voiced like eight different characters. When I heard that, that was like I, that is funny. The one, the actual actor, like freaking the Green Ranger, is actually two cartoon famous ones, like oh, Zim yeah, and he is. Zim, and basically the freaking. I totally forgot the guy. Is no Goku was. Goku was the guy that was the. <laughs> so like the Green Ranger was basically the dude that also like voice acted Zim. But the mm -hmm. person who voice acted the English version of Goku was the one that actually did the one with the braces in Ed, Ed and Eddie. Yeah, he was. He has a large range, too. Like, he's done voice acting for a bunch of games and everything. Like, dude is all over the place. There's some, like, characters I guarantee you that you're just like, what? He played that one? It's like, yeah, buddy. Like, let me look it up. Hold on. I, I can't exactly remember which characters he's played. Oh my gosh, they had a discipline. They live in a cave! <laughs> Sean Schimmel. Uh, that's what I remember his... Uh, fucking... Oh yeah, I remember he did Gaston, Conrad, and a few other characters in Berserker. Or Berserk. By the way, 100% recommend Berserk. It is very good. Mm -hmm. Um, Let me see what he's done. He's done a voice in Fallout 4. Which a one? few of them. Strong Mark Wilson male ghouls. Oh, I know who Strong is. Yeah. And I know who Mark Wilson is as well in that game. Oh, I didn't know that. He voices Lucario. The fucking Pokemon. He does it in Smash Bros. What? <laughs> You know what's really funny about basically that? Hmm. Strong is the only friendly super mutant that you can actually have as a companion. Oh. That is looking for milk. That's honestly kind of cute. I'm not going <laughs> to fucking lie. Because you heard milk <laughs> makes humans' bones strong. So if Strong gets milk, he will become stronger than human. I love him already. I want to hug him. That is adorable. Like, dude. Oh my like... god, he was built toward Winx Club? I remember that. Sorry, go on. Like, Strong is like, literally has the mind of like probably a. Five year old, <laughs> so. Mhm. Mm but it's cute, bro. Honestly, honestly, best companion. I already bought Fallout Four again. Mm -hmm. I don't really remember Strong because I, I like when I played the game. It was hella long ago. But um, I'm going to be friend Strong. Strong is good. He wants Strong milk. Is Yes, he is. He's a uh, super mutant that is looking for milk because if he can get, he he'll be unstoppable against humans because his objective is to be stronger than humans so he can defeat the humans. <laughs> I mean, as messed up as that is, it's cute. So I'll I'll give it a pass. He only does it just because he's looking at. <laughs> so what happens if you give him milk? If you can even find milk? If you can find milk, it's like the thing is like. I think that's the gimmick. There is no... I don't think there is any milk in the game. Oh. <laughs> so he just kind of stays around you because it's like, you will lead me to milk, right? Yeah, you'll lead me to milk because you also probably need milk to get stronger. You'll become like... <laughs> I'm like, it's funny. 
Bro, I love that. Yeah, this dude's been in like 80,000 like, different he, oh, fuck. Like, really strong does not get understand adult jokes or adult insults. That's cute. Like literally, Protect if you're, strong. if you actually uh do um play sarcastic to mm -hmm. while you're a female character to uh, general grains, do you literally say like, "I'm sorry, I wasn't here for a dick measuring contest." It's like he says, "Dick, what? Strong does not understand." Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. I love him. He's like, like you are too pure. <laughs> it's like you do not need milk to murder human. You shall be my friend. Friend is squishy. Friend is funny. Friend stay. He doesn't need to kill me. I like being around this mutant. Yeah, the only friendly super mutant that will actually talk to humans just because I think his mind is just a toddler and he doesn't understand what's friend or foe at the moment. I mean, probably for the best for both of us, really. Because if he's a foe, I'm going to kill him. And I don't want to kill him. Which I think is funny. Really, really funny, but yeah, that was really sad because after like listening to that, just like thinking of all the cartoons that they gave us, and I just learned that basically I was grow, I was growing up with only Western cartoons. So basically, all my childhood for any type of show is going to be gone. I mean, nothing that a little piracy can't fix. You can probably find like old DVDs, but like still. <laughs> oh no, who said DVDs, brother? We got the internet. Yeah, like we have the internet, but like I said, I have DVDs and I still have a DVD player. <laughs> I mean, I do too. Don't get me wrong. I still got the full, I still got every single season of Super Mario Bros. And I will unironically sit here and watch them sometimes through my DVD drive. I'm not even fucking kidding. Here was a funny joke I saw on basically Twitter. Somebody was crying like they basically they're uh shutting down Netflix. And dude's like saying, Oh, that Are sucks. They? I don't know. I was really understanding. It was a meme that basically somebody's trying because basically their streaming platform is being shut down, basically. I think they decided to do Netflix. And the dude that basically has like thousands upon thousands of movies of like hard copies. So like, oh, that sucks, man. I want to come to my house and watch a movie. I got a popcorn. <laughs> it was like, I got it. <laughs> you get to see all these shelves full of DVDs of different movies. Bro, did I tell you about how my mom used to have, like, all these VHSs and DVDs and everything, like, in this almost cage? And they were, some of them were the most ultra rare things. And we gave them away. And I didn't realize until we got older. I was like, that literally could have been like $20,000 flat for like one of those. It was pain. And I told my mom that and she was like, oh my God, I wish I didn't give them away. We actually could have had money. <laughs> Same thing with my dad, except my dad still keeps them. We couldn't keep them. There was I, way too much. And like we he, were like planning to move at that time. It's like, uh, in fact, he actually does. He actually goes all the way down to record player. He has records. Ah, uh, vinyls. And a working record player. <laughs> we used to have one, but we have no idea what happened. I think I know what happened. The wire. My dad is like always stuck in his old, in the old days, and he'll never leave about it.
while also using modern day equipment so basically he he knows that there's modern day stuff to use but he'll keep all the old stuff and understand it and that's fair so he basically says like oh it's always convenient to have this new technology stuff but when basically technology gets away from it i always have something that always helped me because i don't need it anymore mm-hmm. basically he kind of taught me that basic uh Today's technology is good, but not fully important. Maybe that's what any technology really. Mm-hmm. One because... day, the technology we have now is just going to get really old, and it's just going to be a repeat of what happened even 20 years ago. But we're probably still going to stick with the technology we were used to, just because there's no need to change it if we understand it. And it works just as well. Mm-hmm. That's the funny part of it. He didn't care. He keeps them so basically just in case if things bad happen, he'll still have something to do. Yep. Just like I have an old ass typewriter still sitting in my room somewhere. Alright, unpause your game, brother. You've been sitting here for 52 minutes. Most because I was eating. <laughs> okay. So All, right, while we doing? All right, we just barely finished doing the elephant thingy. I'm talking to the guy. Oh, yeah. So. You should probably start exploring and getting shrines and stuff. Shrines are very useful. <laughs> I think we're still on the free divine beast, but if you're all the free divine beast is literally just a main quest that tells you what to do, but you don't have to do them immediately. I'll just basically hunt down whatever we find, I guess. Yeah, shrines are good to find because you need them to basically level up the game. If that's like something that um makes sense to you, you need hearts, you need stamina. The Divine Beast will give you heart containers, but the game expects you to actually, you know, explore. There's more than just the main quest. You could do side quests, you can do shrine quests, which are basically side quests but for shrines. Things like that. There's a lot to do in this game. It's not just point A to point B to point C to point D. So explore a little, grab some shrines. Kill a bunch of birds. I don't know. Cook food. Also, you don't have to die with your weapon. I actually would recommend that, just in case you do land, because it'll just break your weapon. Uh, just press B. If you don't want to... How come you stopped right there instead of just going to the actual... When you pu pushing me away? The wind will not fully push you away. It cannot do that. You did, though, you're gonna drown if you don't heal. And you're gonna die. I'm gonna die anyways. <laughs> oh, Mephis Grace saved you. Okay. You see that shrine? Go back to it. And ignore the fact that the wind was pushing you, just go to the area where the shrine was. Okay. The wind pushed you to the side is normal. It doesn't mean it's gonna knock you off trajectory, though. So keep moving forward. Uh, drop a little bit, just press B. X. Yep. Alright, press B again. There you go. Uh, try not to get hit. Okay. Y you pause, eat. Yeah. <laughs> Did you miss this? 
No, because I don't understand why your reaction time is fast in other games, but not in this one. Literally just pause and eat the food. <laughs> Dude, really good at do Doom Eternal. Dude, Terrell Woods all <laughs> Sounds about right. You want to try going for that train again? Yeah. Like partly eating at the same time of playing. I just just eat, just finish eating. I thought you were finished by now. No, I just only have like fries left. Where did you go to eat? Chick Fil A. Okay, I thought you went to go eat at Arby's again, sinner. No. Arby's is cringe. I didn't like it when I ate meat. I don't like it right now. Got some tenders over at Chick Fil A. Okay. I bet you can make better chicken tenders than they can, because I just don't like restaurants. You know, honest, you know, all the tenders and chicken nuggets I ate, and of all the restaurants I've been in, Chick Fil A is the best. He's but, eating the Christian chicken. But the problem is, um, they're not very good to be preserved. Well, obviously, yeah, that's probably good, <laughs> because, I'm, let's be real, literally everyone else's chicken nuggets ain't chicken, brother. That's not chicken, that's styrofoam. Funny enough, same thing as Wendy's. Wendy's not very good at being preserved, but somewhat, but not all the way. I mean, it's called real food. <laughs> this It's not gonna last very long if you cook it. But it's McDonald's is definitely just shrimp. basically, you can like literally let it sit there for basically like five hours and it still tastes the same. Ugh. Disgusting. It's like, I wish I was lying about that. I know you're not. I, I was a little kid at one point eating fucking McChicken Nuggets, my 10 piece and some fries. Fucking, I was like, oh, cool. I left these out overnight. I'm still gonna eat it though. And my mom's like, don't eat it, you'll be sick. And I wasn't sick. I got sick though last time I had them, which was like seven, eight years ago. And that was just because of fucking, uh, I, I really just think that's when my body just started rejecting meat. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I got sick from any piece of meat I ate back then. It was like terrible. <laughs> I was like, I'm not trying to be like mean or anything. It was like, I'm just saying, like, basically, out of all the places I ate, for, like, fast food in general, if you're looking for anything for chicken, uh, Chick-fil-A is the best. I'd rather just make it myself. Like I said, if you're, I, I, that's why I put, I categorized it as for fast food. Yeah. I never said anything else. Oh, uh, something I gotta warn you about. You see that pretty trident that does 22 damage, that thing called a light scale trident? Yes. Do not use it. Like, at all. Don't. Okay. Okay, good. I just wanted to establish that, because to remake that weapon, because it is technically a relic, uh, you gotta pay a lot of money. And a lot of resources, and it's just not worth replacing. If you're wondering if there's a way to keep it, but without it clogging up your inventory slot, you're gonna have to go to Hateno Village for that, and buy a home. A.K. buy your back your house because you've been dead for hundred years. The house you see in the village in the back that looks kind of just like old. That was yours at one point in time. You may kind of want it back. You can store stuff in your house and shit. And one of those weapons is that one. And it's like really the person that is actually elder that knew that I'll eventually come back did not decide to reserve thy house. Get the radish. Go back. That is good. Pick it up. It gives you extra hearts when you cook it. Have you seen me ever cook in this game? You're gonna have to, whether you like it or not. It's literally how you do these certain quests. I know. That's the problem. <laughs> have you Cooking ever seen it? Cooking is fine. It's not that bad, I promise. 
He's like, even in survival games, have you ever seen me cook? I don't care if you cook or not, you're gonna start good good now, okay? Well, I don't even think I even cook an arc. Should. Are you pushing forward on your stick or are yes, you just... Yes, yes I am. Okay. The wind is legit pushing me backwards. No, I know it is. I'm just asking to make sure you are. Uh, try to avoid those Lizophos. You don't want to deal with them right now. They have Lizio bows. Those are 14, and then blue Lizophos are just crazy. Make it, 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 Easier. That shrine's not too hard to get to, even if you didn't, but, you know. Thorns are cringe. Thorns. Man, I don't ever want to see you play Tears of the Kingdom, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> You think this is already like challenging? Tears of the Kingdom's gonna beat your ass, brother. I'm not saying it's challenging. I just know I'm doing being stupid. <laughs> Even if stop doing that. Yeah, you act like I'm being stupid on purpose. <laughs> With how you act sometimes, most likely. <laughs> I'm naturally being stupid. Hello. Alright, you see that water shit? Yes. Alright, you get the puzzle with the flames and how it says five flames? You have to somehow set to those on fire without the water fucking you up. Yeah. That little thing you see in front of you tells you which directions you can rotate the cube. Do I use magnet or just the ice? Uh, you have to hit it. Maybe move it to the right. Yep. Left. You can shoot it with an arrow as well. Or do that. That works as well. Yeah. Okay, now. Um, you have to find a way to... Do this. I'll just hit this again right now at the moment since that was not lit. <clears throat> no, I not someone I wanted to do. Huh. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know about that, brother, but I kind of just went and let you figure it out. There's a way to cheese this shrine, by the way. You don't even have to technically do this puzzle. Eh, yeah, I'm gonna do it anyways. You see that empty wall of just nothingness? That's your hint to how you can just avoid this puzzle entirely. Oh. Huh. I like puzzles. But only if I can actually hit it in the right direction is the thing. I'll let you solve the puzzle. I'm just saying there's just a way you can just completely not do it and brute force your way. I did that with a lot of shrines in this game and in Tears of the Kingdom. No, I was just like, I don't want to actually do the puzzle, this is cringe, and I will just fucking brute force the fuck out of it. I'm gonna have to use the arrow to actually, like, go up and Yeah, you can up. use the arrow. You just gotta find your arrow after you shoot it. It's on the floor, you may want to pick it up. You may want to rotate it. But rotate it sideways, not down or up. Not that one. Actually, no, that one's fine. There's one more. Oh, no, there isn't. You got it. Let's go. Grab those I, arrows on the floor. I kind of made it easy for myself because I put the water down below right down there. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you're supposed to do it. Wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back. Go I need back. you to go grab those two arrows on the floor that are literally right there. And then there's a chest in the shrine. You see it? Yep. There's two. 
There's two? Yeah. Hmm. Wait, can you just climb against this wall? No. No. Look at the materials they're made out of. This is just. What the no, heck? burn it. Burn it? There's fire. Do you have flint on you? I have fire arrows. Don't use that. Check if you have flint on you. Hold on. Wrong button. <laughs> you have one piece of flint, so pick that up. Yep, or use okay. that, I mean. It's like, hold flint out. Oh my god. No! Oh, I pressed... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trusting everyone? Just press the fucking button! Even Mon tried to come out the shadow room and say something. What the heck, dude? I got the right button. <laughs> All you had to do was pick up the flint from your inventory, put it in front of the Leaves hit it. If you did that, it was set on fire. I was then gonna tell you draw your bow so you can set the arrow on fire and shoot it at the other wood plank so you wouldn't have to use your fire arrows. Go back to the sh go back inside the shrine. You haven't finished it yet. You have to redo the puzzle now. Okay. You are the fumbler. <laughs> Ain't no way you just did that right now. I wish I did that on purpose. <laughs> what? I wish I did that on purpose. I wish you didn't. That would just make me more upset that you did that. <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. <laughs> let's go get the let's go get the chest first before you do this again. This time, press start. Press X. Press A. Back out the pause menu by pressing start. Go to that. Press A. Press ZR. Actually, no, don't do that. Back out of that. Press B while holding ZR. Now swing at it with your sword. All right, you fumbled it. You may as well just restart the train. It's not gonna set it on fire, man. Okay. All right, just just grab the just grab the flint. Just grab the flint from the floor. All right, now shoot at that other wooden plank. Okay, now go do the puzzle. Switch from your fire arrows, so you don't make some movies. Mm -hmm. Alright, have a good sleep. See ya, Aquidiac. <laughs> Thank you. Like you. <laughs> now do the puzzle. I know you know how to solve it. You did it once. I know. Video. I'm just sitting down my drink. Don't forget to pick up your arrows. This was my first objective was 
you're gonna do is just get in the water but before I do that let me get that top one first down If I shoot it this way, does it work? No. I know I had arrows, but I want to do it the opposite way. You also may not want to be using your most powerful bullet to shoot anything right now and use a weaker one. Because you're using the durability of your weapon. Don't use a Fenric. Fenric zones in. Just use a just use the Lizio bow you had. Or the Poco bow you had, my bad. I'm gonna start this real fast. Oops. <laughs> I want to kill you so badly. He look an arrow. later you got the chest it's fine just come back to that later i don't want to watch you do this i felt i would get it this time if you want to do it again do it again you're so clear not, not let him in let him in i want to hear what mundle's got to say honestly they would roast you alive. Eh, it's not like it already happened. There ain't no need to roast him alive. It's no stupid ideas for him. <laughs> the thing is, you saw this the first time correctly. What is so different now? It is the same thing. <laughs> That's what I don't understand. I don't know what I did wrong at this random point. Bro, you about to turn Mondo into a Christian with this shit. Because <laughs> only God can save you at this point. Grab the arrow in the water, too.
Move it to the side. No! Aim to the side. Shoot that. Okay, now try to light that one back up by turning it to the side again. Now shoot that thing with the fire arrow. Just shoot it with the fire arrow. I forget, does it let you do that or did you hit it from the side wrong? Just, okay, move forward. If you want, or do that. There you go. Congratulations! Now <laughs> pick up your arrows and do not teleport out of here! Welcome yeah, you're the to... whole chat laughing, bro. <laughs> yeah, which is me. Bro, if I had balls, I would just slam on the waffle iron and scream racial slurs to the top of my lungs right now. Hey, I did it. Is that the, is it the end objective? Hey. What do you mean, same if you had balls, Mondo? You're a male. Guess you're not telling us something. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> You right, I'm gonna go do that real quick. Remove your balls or gain balls. What? Do what real quick? <laughs> Are you gonna take the gardening scissors and just snip snip them off? I did guess. I just said it. You're gonna cut them off with the gardening scissors slash clamps. Oh my god, he's becoming old now. What are you gonna do? I I don't know the context of the question or like of the um. Slam the waffle. Oh, okay. Do you have a waffle iron even? I do. Well, then go do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one. <laughs> Straight no. Well, I knew the next question was gonna happen. It's not a question, it was a suggestion, really. Not a demand, at this point. It's a fox. You can kill them for me. If you kill a snow fox, they drop really rare meat. Or at least high quality meat, I mean. I don't think Mondo was here for our Cartoon Network tops, but oh well. No, no, he already knows about that. <laughs> what is... That was something that was technically starting to happen like a few years ago, a few months ago. Mm hmm But now it's a complete comfort term because I think there's only now just one, like, team and it's not even like a full team now working there. 
Yeah, it's just sad. the rest. So, Cobra, you need to get used to cooking in this game. Literally requirement. You got it. Also, kill those deer. Deer. Hey, you just ran. You can shoot them. In. What? <laughs> he immediately saw that gives you high quality BT and you start killing all of them. You just told me to kill, so I just killed. No, it's good. Keep killing them. If you can, don't waste your arrows though. Oh, one shot, one kill, right? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, I know this area too. Stop killing them? Okay. Why you tell them? Why can't he kill them? What do you mean? What'd I do? What'd I do? You can also, like, ride them too if you want. If you saw that video says mount. I don't know. I just... Over here. I have feet. Why do I suck, Mondo? Yeah, but there's like 80 trillion of them. That's why I was like, just kill them. If they respawn anyway, you act like there won't be any more spawning anytime soon. Hello, weirdo. I know you did not just call that man a weirdo with your look. Hello, Eric. What tower? Aww. I have my tour guide, so. No, figure shit out for yourself. Ask him questions. You get used to that. <laughs> There's a lot of ways to spell Eric. I've seen that way happen a couple times. There was someone named Eric Gonzalez in one of my classes, and that's what his name was spelled like. Oh. What does that mean? Huh. <laughs> Wig is cheap mm. shit. Mm. Oh. Alright. Did you actually pay attention to what you see? No. Skip that dialogue. <laughs> I glanced at it, read it, and then lost it. <laughs> Stop doing that. You literally pick up things you find. Pick up everything you find. You just ran past two good mushrooms. Pick them up. I'm sorry if I'm sounding violent, <laughs> but this is like the 20th time I've had to say this. <laughs> Kill the deer. Ignore Mondo. It's not important right now. Yep. Where'd the arrow go? Did it just vanish? Or was it further up ahead? <laughs> it's not up there, that's for sure. It probably just rolled downhill a little. Where the freak did it go? Ah, 
fuck it. Sometimes the arrows just kind of disappear. Not Watch really to the wilderness. To about it. Rock prime meat's good. This area in general just spawns a lot of deer. I don't know why he's complaining about Don't kill it, you know, you need it for a shrine quest when it's not that important. You literally can just come back here at any point in time and do that shrine quest. So it's... If you want to put a stamp here to remind yourself of that, do it. But it's not that important. You'll come to back to it eventually. Because it's right next to Valruda. And I remember exactly what this part is. I'm shrine over that direction, but I don't know if I discovered that spot yet. Probably not. You want to go get the shrines, though. Shrines are also beneficial to you for several reasons. One, they give you the thing you need to increase your heart containers and stamina wheels. Two, they offer teleportation spots for you. So you may need to go back to a location where a shrine is just miraculously there. So be sure to get shrines. They're very important to you. Go get that one. It's orange. Orange means you hadn't gotten it yet. Blue means you have gotten it. Orange and blue means you found it, but you didn't complete the shrine. I still have that clip though when basically you're <laughs> questioning how I freaking, you know, like trying to correct me from this thing while I was trying to talk. <laughs> you know, the, the last time we played and I was trying to speak to an old guy and basically I s said something wrong and then you said, like, correct me. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I just like went like that for the while. Just walk past him, not even give him the time of day. Uh, just climb that mountain, or not that mountain, the area in front of you, like right there. Yeah, what you're walking on right now, just climb up it. It's quicker than actually taking a path. You can basically climb most surfaces in this game with no problem unless it's raining. So, never forget to just climb up random shit. You're going the wrong direction of where that shrine is, by the way. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe it's like, nearby. Yeah, it's right there. Hey, that's an Endora shroom on the other side. Go get that. It does a similar thing to what the hearts do, but mm -hmm. instead of extra hearts, it's extra stamina. The good thing about extra hearts and extra stamina is it does full recovery no matter how many golden hearts are there. Same with the stamina. <laughs> I hope by the time you get like halfway through this game, it's you're not um dog water. <laughs> Don't you hear so. I have multiple I have like multiple games I play. Oh, okay, you're good. Brother, I got like 50 games I've been playing all at once. No excuse at this point. I even play the 50 games on... I play, I'm i playing multiple games on three different systems, so... Wow, me too! It's almost like we have a bunch of consoles that we really don't need. What's your other system? I have my PC, 
Okay, that's one. Which I also connect the controller to, but some games don't allow me to switch the buttons, so it's just basically Xbox controls. And then I have a whole nother thing called a DS, but it's the same problem with the PC. Yeah, beat his ass. Just burn the spikes? Yep. It's a little bit of a slow burn. Just give it a little bit. Probably heal. Too. That would probably be smart. You don't get jumped. You can also just uh, use your paraglider or ramble with fires like this because it could be enough. That can be useful to you sometimes when you need to get more aerial just to kind of see what's going on during fights. The door has opened. Yep, the door has opened. Another headache for people. <laughs> this whole thing is just a headache for me. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> I definitely need like some sort of, I definitely need a commission like a, I don't know, a derpy moat for me, because <laughs> every time no, I you know this. what I need? What? You are the only person so far to make me almost resort to drugs in like the first 10 minutes of playing the game with you. <laughs> I may be taking antidepressants and shit like that. But fuck, what fuck, please, it do? sounds great when playing okay. games with you. Because, it, um, oh my god. It's pain. Let's make it just room. Oh, I remember this shrine. What the fuck did I just do? Uh, you hit a button that make water go burn. Which is good. Now you need to find a way to get inside of there. And I can tell you now, it's a lot simpler than you're about to make it. Remember, you have Cryonis. Mm hmm That's what I was planning on doing, using. Okay. Do you want me to tell you what to do now, or do you want to figure it out for yourself? Let me figure it out for myself a teeny bit since I'm right here already. Yep. The barrel, there's a button. Now look at what the barrel's made out of. Barrel. L. Let go once you have it on top of the button. Okay, you get the idea now? You're you're doing it right. It's not gonna stay down there, but you got the idea? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now what did that button do? It didn't hit on it, like... I'm expecting it opens that door. Uh-huh. Should probably just look at the button, then. Or not the button, the switch that you hit earlier. The stasis will, uh, stasis will not help you in this shrine. Just push it down. Yeah, it's probably not gonna work. Oh. I was about to say, if you fucking do it again. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait. Like I said, it's a lot simpler than what you're gonna make it. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I know what you're about to do. You're on the right track for Cryonis. You just need to figure out where to use Cryonis. Give you a hint. It's just outside of this area. Wait, Jade, since this is giving water... No? Do you remember when you hit the laser? Yeah. Okay, do you know how that thing was in that cube rotating shrine where you hit it again and it just did things? Why not go to the laser where that laser is, or at least just outside of this area, and look for the crystal the laser you hit? If you okay. hit that yourself, it should make life easier. If you go too far out, though, you won't be able to get back in since the water will be too low. It's right there. Good up. You wanted me to do Creonis, hit it, and get the sh jump out of it, or? Do it how you want. I'm just giving you puzzle pieces. You can piece it together yourself, though. Just know that you gotta have quick reflexes. Ah. Uh. That's why I mentioned that. What would have been better too, now I can say it, if you stood next to that laser, because it would have worked as a pedestal. You will not be able to get back up there. You have to go back and raise the water again. You can shoot it with an arrow, it'll be the same thing. Mm -hmm. Why did you lose hearts? I think because when it broke, it went right on the laser. Oh, go to that laser again. No, no, no. Don't shoot. Just use your cryon to skip to the laser. Do you see that taller platform? That one? Get to that. Use your cry on a okay. mus. Do not run for the laser. Do you have food to heal yourself with? You probably. probably Eventually, you're gonna have way too many hearts where you actually need to cook. So, again, I'm warning you now. Cook. You need to. Eat the palm fruit. That recovers one heart, and you can get more of that later. 
Do not eat that. The palm fruit's just green. It's like the large green coconut. Now shoot that thing, the blue crystal. Alright, now you can paraglide into that. You got an arrow on the floor. Okay. Right there. Here. There's probably some arrows up there near that crystal. Cannot shoot it through there. Looks like it could. you cannot. Yes. It's one wall. It's just the texture that makes it look like it's not. Yeah, that bug is weird. I, I don't understand it either. Yes. You almost had it. You gotta be faster. Mm -hmm. I'm right. I think you figured it out by now, but reflexes are very important in this game, and if you don't have good reflexes, you just are probably not going to do half the tricks. It sucks that it's like Black bear, wait. That tall doesn't does the skill. That works. <laughs> Wait. Where do you freaking get this chest? Sorry, I zoned out heavily. What happened? Instead of, uh, try the reflex, I learned that basically you can make a wall that is just as high enough right here and shoot from over. Yeah, you can. I just wanted to see what you would do, and so I went along with that. 
You yeah. want to know how to get that chest that has to do with water again. I know. That's what I was like trying to figure out. Is it even worth getting the chest or no? I don't remember what's inside the chest. But I would say no, it's not important. It's probably like an ancient cord now that I think about it, which probably is important, but you don't really have to worry about those right now. You'll get enough eventually. I can always come back. Yeah, I just had like, okay, I'm not, I'm probably not going to be freaking reflex enough, so I think that'll be like a second way. So I kind of like try to find ways that I didn't have to really use reflexes. Like a lot of people said, work smarter, not harder. I'm still stupid, so I can't really just say anything about that. Yeah, I think I just head towards that tower. Stupid thing. Ah, the rocks are cringe. No, I'm not a freaking arrows temporarily, so. No crap, not what I want to do. Yeah, it worked out in the end. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. You can press B. Yeah, I came here to grab more arrows. Basically. You can buy some arrows too if you need. Uh, something that I do that also works. You saw the great like the the prime meat you got, right? Mhm. Mm you don't have enough hearts for that to even be worth eating. What you can do is just shove them all. Like take five of them, throw them in a pot, and cook it. Right? Mm -hmm. They sell for a lot of money. So you could just sell that for cash if you need cash. All right. That thing again. It's even worse at aiming. You know what dog I kind of really want? 
What is it? I just want a standard poodle. Those are nice. Standard poodles are adorable. Cutie patooties. Very intelligent dogs. And they don't shed? Some of them don't, anyway. A good dog for people that are like, you know, like friends that have allergies. Most of the allergies that that people get from dogs is mostly because of the shed, but yeah. So like, if you get a poodle and the ones that like don't shed, it's like it's a teeny bit more bit easier to clean up around. Yeah, I would love to have a little standard poodle. They don't shed. You know what other dog doesn't shed that people think sheds? What? Um, freaking what's it called? The poofy dog. But bro, I know the name of it. My brain's shitting itself. Give me a second. It's called a um. Fuck. What is it called? A shag. No. It's like the really poofy one. It's not a Pomeranian. It's like the big version of that. It's very poofy. Very cute. People think they should, but they don't. Don't remember the name of it, but it's basically a big old poofy dog, and it, it does not shed. But you've got to groom it because it doesn't shed. Like, you got to groom it a lot. Same with poodles. you got to groom them a lot. And I honestly would not mind becoming a dog groomer to groom my own specific dogs. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> this is why you need to cook food. You better eat something. Was that a groan of just agony? This thing is annoying. Just kill him. <laughs> Watching you get crapped on is funny. Ow. This is great. It's like punishment for all your sins. I need cats! I had that dream about the cat, too. Uh, some, sorry, I zoned out and was thinking about it. Cats? Yeah, I was... I, I keep getting this dream of this adorable cat that is white with light brown patches. It keeps playing with me, it talks with me in its own little way. It is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. I don't know if I'm going to like an alternate universe when I'm sleeping or some shit, but like... I love the cat and I remember every moment with it. Okay. 
missed. Anywho, about the cat. It was just very, very cute, and I love it. When I was touching its stomach, it would curl around and look at me, and it smiled, and it was happy. And it would just, like, chew on my hand, but not, like, hurt it or anything. It's just playfully chewing on my hand and everything. It really likes balloons. I don't know, maybe it's an inner manifestation of what I want in life. There we go. Cat. I also had dreams about pigeons and animals and other things like that, but maybe cats recently. I'm not sure what that's about. But I would love a cat. I just need animals, Cobra. You don't understand how strong this urge is. <laughs> it's getting into your dreams at this point. Yep. I need the animals. I swear to God. Ash! Mm, you had enough energy. Just paraglide. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, uh, the the first reason I was in the water is because basically get that thing though. Oh, the Korok. Yeah, I remember. But yeah, I I need pigeons. I need the cats, especially the cats. Oh my god, the cats! They're so cute, and they're amazing creatures, and I love them. I want a fat cat too, like the not fat cat, but super floofy cat. I don't mind a fat cat either. Time for the Zuzu Mondo headache. Yeah. I don't even think Mondo's in here anymore. I think he actually just left. Oh, he actually died. <laughs> He's not even in the chat anymore. He died of cringe. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad he finally fucking died. For reasons to joke. Tempered power. I remember this shrine. Wait, where is this shrine? Can you open your map real fast? Um... I think I know which one. And the reason why I'm concerned about it is because... I don't know if this is that shrine, but there's a shrine that needs another shrine to get the answer. I thought this may be that one, but it may not be. Only one way to find out. Oh no, it's not. It's fucking golfing. Have fun. Yo, it went golfing in real life, so... No, this thing is cringe. Trust. Use that sledgehammer. Uh, drop one of your weapons that's almost broken. Or use that as your club. Either one works. Yeah, drop the bow. Or not the bow, my bad. The fucking Lazio Boomerang. So it's, it's a bread. It's not gonna last longer. You've been using it, so it has like one more swing on it. So you may as well fucking drop it. Yeah, switch to the Iron Sledgehammer. Okay. <laughs> Now you have to use stasis on it. If you remember the first stasis shrine you ever had, you have to gulp it into that thing over there. Pretty simple, right? No. Just do it. It's not. I know it's not simple. I don't add the hurt it hit in a certain amount of times. Yeah. Too much, you'll overshoot it. In yep. certain yeah, I kind of get one of these puzzles. Uh, that's, that's just a reset. Just to respawn a ball, yeah. If in case you like fucking over well, it. No crap. Press B. 
you gotta you gotta target onto it, you hold your target, and then you have to swing at it with your um, sledgehammer. But be careful. Any angle you stand at, it will use that as which way to hit the ball at. That's why I want you to target onto the ball while hitting it with your weapon. Now press Y. Don't hold Y, just press it. While targeting, you need to do that too. You can't afford to not target. You gotta be fast. You can't do it slowly either. There's a way to cheese it, but I doubt you want to do it because it's honestly just kind of more work than it is to just actually do this. It's not gonna make it because it's gonna go off too far to the left. So. Too low. Right. That, and even if it did hit the right way, you didn't target onto it, so it didn't fly straight. I'm just trying to see how much I need to hit first. That's enough. I guess not. Cool. <laughs> This one was cringe, don't worry. This one took me a while when I first did it, because it was just stupid. There's a lot of shrines like this. That just require, like, kind of precision and luck, really. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had it. <laughs> I want to see what happens if I hold it. The red. I mean, is... try holding it again. Just don't slam onto it. I guess. If, if you can cancel out of your spin with B, by the way. All right. So try spinning it again, but this time, don't slam into it. Okay. Oh, no, oh, I missed a couple times before it went off anyways. Oh, my package should be coming in today. What package is it? Um, black licorice. <laughs> black licorice. Licorice is delicious, mother. Mm -hmm. Why'd I call you a mother? What the fuck? I think something possessed me just now. Ah, uh, let's get this. I bet that went off of it too. Oh, um, you know accident. what's cringe? What? It's not here yet because they just barely freaking sent it out to ship. So it's not coming here till the 13th. It got delayed. <laughs> cool. A lot of my packages got delayed. What the frick, man? Cool. Yeah, a lot of my packages got delayed, apparently, so... Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm not very happy about that. Unfortunate. Uh, uh, there's not much I can really fucking do about it, really. It, it is what it is. At least it costs me less money now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this might take a while. Yep. Yeah. 
That's a problem. If I lose this hammer, I might have to do this later. You can just leave the shrimp behind for now. I don't blame you, because this one's actually just cringe. I'll just leave this later, because I'm just breaking things and... Yeah. Do I have to wait till that point? Ah, uh, well, that was garbage. Okay. <laughs> it's really my fault that time. Or maybe it was my fault and I just suck. It's a mixture of both, don't worry. The worst part is, the only time I did it was the time when basically I was just testing, like, okay, what does... Just holding it down work? <laughs> Will holding it down work? That was legit my I thought, and that was it. Hello. I feel like those are more of a nuisance than anything else. That's just my opinion, though. The skeleton ones. Woodland stables. That is an axe. Can I grab said axe? Can grab sets. <laughs> I got an axe. I didn't know that. What? Pigeons love bricks. Because it reminds them of when they used to live in the mountains. Cool. This place seen better days. Yeah, a lot of places have. I just remember that's there. Yes, I have one. I don't think I have anything that's breaking. Huh? Nothing. I just saw this, like, things here. Oh, I guess I had oh. enough to... It's a rusty... Uh, the things with rusty halibirds. There's this altar rock that's only in one specific region. It's the Elden region. If you throw it at them while they're inhaling, they will repair the rusty weapon. The was... qualities of this weapon, though, depends just on where you found the rusty weapon, though, I believe. That's but not you don't ominous have to at all. <laughs> it's like walking, and just basically things fall down. Jeez, what happened here? <laughs> It was a military training camp. Some military training camp? I mean, it was a hundred years ago and it got crapped on because of the Great Calamity, which basically was the end of the world, so... If this was a hundred years ago, it looks like it was more recent than a hundred years. 
because probably because the black hobbles and everything have been inhabited the camp and started using it for some reason. <laughs> you have a fire lift. We need to get you more arrows, buddy. Should I or no? Uh, just leave him be. Okay. Don't go around him. He's cringe. Because I remember the electric one just kicked my ass. He dropped a weapon. He may like. I think I might as well grab it since my other one broke. It's metal. I'm guessing you place it here so you can have a walkway. Seriously, you don't see me. They're a little slow, like us. Okay, come in electric pet. Oh fuck. <laughs> they auto programmed my head Get that dragon bone vocal club that is a lot of damage Okay, let me check first yeah. You don't want him aggroing you Jump with X. Dragon Bone stuff is very good. What the heck? You should just avoid him. You don't have the tools to kill him necessarily. You ran out of arrows. Mm hmm Can I figure out where to go next? It's that direction, I guess. Good. Can you make it? Yeah, I can. Um... Clash it. <laughs> Will I be able to make it towards this rock? Or no. No. Probably not. But you can try. You have Cryonis, right? Uh, not quite yet. It's recharging still. You have Cryonis. Cryonis is an ability that doesn't need to recharge. Oh, so it works on this too. It will be. Am I even able to climb that high? Hmm? You definitely could. 
could. It's just you gotta pace it right. If you're not gonna pace it right, you're not gonna get far. If you pressed X, I pressed X, but it also no, you can change the direction you jump. By the way, mm -hmm. the L stick. This is what I mean by food is important. You get stamina food that you could use in the middle of climbing that you can use to help you climb. <laughs> Use this thunder arrow you got. got some people's attention yeah you don't want his attention in particular <laughs> what are you doing uh, about to set you on fire <laughs> I don't blame him. Funny wizard said, let me set you on fire. Oh, you don't want that to happen, man. <laughs> he really did just blow himself up. Oh yeah, you're having a heat stroke right now because it's really hot. Don't eat that. Yeah, we need to get you to cook stuff because this is getting bad. You're getting to the point now where you can't just survive for not cooking something. You can kill him with ice, by the way. It insta kills him. Alright. Can I get it? No. Get oh, you don't. You don't. Don't. You dare. Don't. You dare. Don't you. Yeah, he's a bull bitch. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Where I am I? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I landed so hard on the freaking ground. No, nah, it's not you landed hard on the ground, you drowned in mud. I was you on the rock! In quagmire. No, you fell. You drowned in quagmire. Did it go through the rock then? Because the rock is connected uh, to that. No, the rock has holes. I'll take this spot. <laughs> Try to climb up higher on this thing. Oh, not on the tower yet. The thing you're standing on. It'll probably be easier for you if you just do that. So that was kind of funny. I wasn't paying attention to what was happening to the goblin because I was like trying to figure out like why I was taking damage at the time. Uh, fire 
Yeah, like I said, you were having a heat stroke, so it makes you die to heat. Because it was too hot because of the fire guy. That's why it was like you may want to kill him with uh, just a f with the ice arrow, because he just... In Any ice arrow or ice weapon will just fucking end him. <sighs> oh. You may want to regain stamina, press B. But I made it. Yep. Yeah. Now you can go up higher. But don't get cocky with it. Yeah, this tower's cringe. I don't like this one either. This one was annoying to get, I remember it. I also found it early game and was getting shit on for like everything under the sun. Link is built if he can just climb this. I tell you, he's built. Hmm? Yeah, he... Definitely has that stamina. Stamina and muscle. That's scary, actually. It, the game doesn't show it well, but Link is, like, actually really ripped. And That's just because basically the still shame. having me Like, what? Like, medieval time? It's like, nothing's Kinda. like... Like, everything you have to use is ladders or stairs, so... <laughs> Yeah, no, people are like, look at how healthy these people were. It's like, they were just built because they had no other reason but that. Like, they, they literally had to be if they wanted to exist. Wouldn't they move anywhere. Yeah, you wanna, you know, fend for your family and get food? You better start working in the fields 12 hours a day, brother. So yeah, everybody was built. The soldiers were scarier, though. In my opinion. Because all of them... All of them were just big muscle, and they would well, stare at you and abuse you if you were poor. <laughs> well, think so, about it. Not only that, basically, yikes. they have to be in the hot sun with metal on their bodies. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. People think they just wore bare metal on their bodies, but in reality, you had padding. You had your clothes, like your underclothes. Then there was small clothes, which was basically the armor the, the protection, part, which basically padding. makes you hot, and especially in the yeah. hot weather, it sucks. I'm not saying they're not, but I'm saying like it wasn't just bare metal. It was they had their clothes, their padding, chainmail, more padding, another layer of chainmail, probably more padding depending on who it was, with the heavy metal armor. So not only are you wearing like seven layers of just protection but you're wearing the fucking metal and you have to run and walk and fight in this it is heavy it is restrictive but yet they still had good movement somewhat anyway and it was hot in those things i don't even know how they lived well they actually didn't most of them didn't <laughs> most of them died actually believe it or not but um it, uh, yeah, it's freaking... They, they... Do we go back to the shrine to, like, use them up, or no? What do you mean? The... The soul things that we're getting. Yes. Uh, did you collect four of them? I have more than four. You don't have to right now, but you can go to a village or something, and there should be the little goddess statue that you pray to that will give you the option to... Increase your hearts and such. So if you go to Kakariko Village, for instance, there should be a shrine there. Zora's Domain has one. Hateno Village has one. When you get to it, Goron City has one. Places like that. Oops. Wrong button again. Did it. I did it. Because I have, like, a lot more than just four. You have, like, about... <laughs> and I haven't like I'm still using the basically the what I got from basically the elephant and basically with a starting heart thing. Mm -hmm. I have like legit ten, <laughs> so I think it's about time to like.
To where exactly? If I may ask. <laughs> There's a lot of quests you should probably do in this village. Boy, it's thicker than a sneaker. Oh my god. So where exactly? Um, if you keep going up. Here, I think. It's here. No, go back, go back, go back. To how much the Black Plague treatment... <laughs> I don't know. Depends how far you're gone you are. How you doing? Oh yeah, this is your old home. You see that thing right there? There's the home that was right there. That one. <laughs> Anyhow. Um it's, I'm fine. it's all, right. all over the place. Uh, get away from there. You're, you're the well. big, I'm just listening. If you turn to the left, to the you left. turn your camera to the left to go that direction. Go in this Not direction. that one. Turn it out to the right a little bit. Just follow that path down. Following that down. <laughs> but yeah, I've been pretty doing pretty good. All right, you see that hill? Go up that hill a little. Turn around. Actually, it's not that one. Go further down. Yes. <laughs> Shit, was it that one? Turn your camera. I don't remember anymore. Now I'm confused because... Look up. That's the uh, one that goes to the basically the... Science Okay, one. yeah, no, to turn out the way. Just go, keep going to the village. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Welcome to basically me basically torching my friend because of my stupidity. That's over there. Look, you you passed it. It's right there. You see that fire? Turn yeah. the camera just a little bit more, please. A little bit more. <laughs> just Fair turn enough. the camera. And just turn the camera. Please! Turn it to the left or something! You see it? This one. Alright, now look from that to the left. Do you see the little statue? Yes, yes that. That's the goddess statue. Go talk the to sex it. is really that good. Why haven't they made a sequel yet? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. What would that even be? <laughs> stamina vessels are necessary, in my opinion. I pref for me, for how I play this game, I prefer stamina over hearts any day. Because if you have enough stamina and you're actually decent at the mechanics of this game, you don't need hearts. <laughs> Funny you say that. What? <laughs> actually, he's decent at this game. Well then, just get good, literally. That's all I have to say. Hey, <laughs> question. Built-in voice yelling at the streamer. <laughs> I'm his consciousness. <laughs> Unfortunately. Many times I consider offing myself. Because I have to, to sit here with this person. The only way to do this is telling him to do it himself. I forget the <laughs> she had better for the shit I've had to go through sitting here, trying to help you. <laughs> I've done many of things. I uh, pissed many people off just by existing. <laughs> you see, you didn't just exist, you actively made bad choices.
<laughs> I'm like, I, I don't have anything to rub. I was like, I don't have nothing to say to that. It's true. <laughs> Sorry if you hear yelling in the background. It was quiet the whole day until I came in here. Oh, crap. Alright, so... I am so tired. <laughs> You're tired? Yeah, I have no idea why. Oh wait, no, I know why. I only slept for like, five hours. Which is usually fine. I don't know why I'm having an issue with it right now. He's just built. He's just built different. He built incorrectly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm built incorrectly. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I mean, I'm built incorrectly too, but him more so. I have most of a problem, but yet yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he just kinda... He just kinda... <laughs> That's what you get for only putting two points in your... It's <laughs> 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 like literally most of the games that I play is literally shoot first, ask questions later. Games that she plays, literally ask questions and suit later. They're quite simple. Literally, just use your brain cells. It's not that bad. <laughs> and then all I do is, is like, I just want to hit stuff with club. <laughs> I want to play caveman. <laughs> You can't play cavemen in this game, but even cavemen thought. He didn't just run into chaos and think, huh, I'll live this. He knew when to fight, he knew when to not. <laughs> Me is like... <laughs> you're not playing cavemen, you're playing idiot, for the caveman was not dumb. I play that basically, if the first time you don't succeed, maybe the next time will. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that when it comes to you. <laughs> Somehow. Something just, just an inkling of a feeling that that's not exactly true when it comes to you in particular. Blows NPC's head. Hey buddy, how are you? <laughs> that's just people when they play Red Dead Redemption. Literally. <laughs> Have you seen anybody play Red Dead Redemption 2? That's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, play Red Dead Redemption. It's like basically just. That's me when I just play any game. Oh, hello, weird. Moon. Oh, that's the Blood Moon. Uh, enemies are about to respawn. Oh, cool. More things to kill. Uh, also, something about the Blood Moon that the game tells you, but it's one of those things that are just kind of like. You won't find out unless you kind of look for it or find it by accident. If you cook during a blood moon, your food is more strong. Like, it has better effects. Thankfully, this so, game like... doesn't usually punish you for entering a building and waving around your sword before asking. <laughs> like, bruh, I, like, the games that I played as eventually... I get it. You can skip it. Press plus. Yeah, there you go. Nah, the moon is just those days. This is in those days. <sighs> I mean, yeah, if you like cook food, you make elixirs or just make normal food or whatever. Oh, this is just really. Oh, better. this is a funny between those two. It's legit. Me is like, ah, I don't need to cook food. Well, Zuz is constantly like beckoning for me to cook food. You literally need to cook food. Yep. Period. Moon. I make that joke all the time. Blood moon equals period. Because honestly, I want to kill everything when that happens. I hate life when it's that time. 
nothing like existing for X amount of years, literally bleeding every month. Dead. Just for people to tell you it's not that bad. Dead. Oh. And it's like, I really wish Tetanus. you bled so you can understand how irritating this is and how painful it can be at times. Does uh, having to get a really bad cut on your thumb and still have to use the, sa you, the sanitize like raw pans in like almost 100 degree sanitizer water work count? It's called literally cooking. That is pretty much every person's experience if they've touched a dish in a fast food restaurant as their job. I'm going to be real with you. No, I was saying like this basically I literally cut my thumb and I still have the work. Yeah, that's just expected. It's another thing when you're literally in crippling pain, you can't sit down and you are literally bleeding out your vagina for like a week. And everyone can smell the blood. That's what I mean. <laughs> Cutting your thumb, I can understand that's an issue. But you could put a band-aid on that. I don't think I could put a band-aid on my stuff. It's not how that really works. If you hate life, have you tried have you tried your if you fried your host's brain if he dies, so do you. You know? I've considered it. If I just put a microwave beam right in his face, it'll just be like smoked pork after that. <laughs> If I put him in the sun, a little bit of salt, he'll cook. That's the sad part. Yeah, I I can't I can't deal with the heat over seventy. Man, can you deal with one hundred and twenty degrees or no? Like I said, I cannot deal with the heat over seventy. Oh my god, dude! It's seventy degrees. <laughs> but I can stand in twenty degree weather or less with just basically. Pants and a t-shirt. New idea for torture. Give this that. It's literally there is a torture method called that. It's just called a thousand cuts, and it throws salt in your wounds. Death to a thousand cuts. And some of these cuts are more like slashes and gashes, but you know, same thing. End of the time when basically we figured out like what was Chinese like water torture. It was like much oh, more you know, worse than what people. Oh, you know where they drop the water on your head, but like in like one place, and it's just a little dot, and it doesn't sound that bad. But until you actually have to deal with it, you know what else is a really like scary torture that doesn't sound that bad? Well, the thing is, like, unlike basically what you use with seeds, is basically have water dripping. It's really that they restrain you, put you upside down, put what make dripping water in you, and then have public humiliation. Yeah, no, I understand. It's it's not great. Another method, unfortunate, but it's interesting, is literally just tickling someone. Now, does that sound that bad? If you're a little kid, your mom tickled you here and there just playing with you and everything like that it's another thing when it's by a random ass person who wants information from you and will literally tickle you until you shit yourself and then humiliate you and degrade you some people though i found out this torture does not work because it's the same reason why cock and ball torture doesn't work people found it pleasurable in the minute oh yeah i totally pleasurable. forgot when i figured out that was actually <laughs> it was supposed to be a torture method first yeah and then people and then people just enjoyed it. No, it's a terrible, it, it's a terrible, it's actually a very terrible torture to be tickled the whole time. Because they don't stop, and they don't care, and they don't just tickle you in one place. They purposely, like, overstimulate everything, and you're screwed at that point. Because a person will literally start to throw up. They can, like, have heart palpitations, shit like that. Like, it actually can be really life-threatening if someone tickles you for long enough. It's the same tickle torture came from. Yeah. Also, it, I, I really... They actually could. They don't care about you. You're not a person when you're in a torture room, brother. <laughs> there's, there's, there's valid evidence of this. Remember, Cobra, when we read the different ways you could... Yeah, there was a in. long time ago. We decided to read, like, all the torture methods. I think the worst one we ever 
uh, thing was a ro the Roman uh, iron Ooh, bowl. The, the fucking bronze calf. Yeah. That shit. Rogue got turned into a crockpot. That was unfortunate. This was during Roman times, so basically this was... They would also sodomize you before they threw you in there, by the way. The only reason why it was called the iron, I think it was the iron cow, the iron ox, because it sounded like an ox while basically you were in there. Yeah, while you were screaming because you were being broiled. Another one that also doesn't sound that bad, but is actually really bad, is painting your whole room only one color and then oh, locking no, you in there with no <laughs> other stimulation other than that one color. That doesn't sound that bad, especially if you like being alone, but like, they have noticed that introverts survive it a lot longer than most, and people that are insane don't really change, so they just kind of are immune. But people that aren't and are of normal neural functionality will quite literally just go insane. Inside there's of an the actual, room with only one color. There's also there's also an actual book about it, which basically the back rooms were actually invented by it too. Yeah. Like and they still take care of you. They give you food, they give you water, but all the food is white. All the like you'll say they threw you into a little white room. Your food is just white. Your water is clear. You have no vent. Then people you came up with to make the life hell on earth. Well, I got one that I could work with. You got people like me who just sit here randomly, probably taking a shit on the toilet, and just be like, you know, what if I just disembowel someone and squeeze their organs? Yeah, uh, I would say something. Uh, you know what? It's like. No, do it. Say it. Say it. I was saying, like, well, that's why Hitler existed. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. He was out of the mind crazy. A lot of people were back in that time, and they it still are, really, but a lot of people are, and they come up with some very disgusting things. But the thing is, and if you're wondering how people come up with this, like, legitimately, and not just a shitpost way, it is quite literally, if you know how to take care of people, you know how to destroy people. That's just how it is. Unfortunately. And I didn't make like tear gas and mustard gas by basically inventing it before just basically making food. Exactly. Electricity can be used to make lights and make technology work in general, but people also know that you can use it to disrupt someone. It... If you know how electricity works and how people work, you can Actually there was a funny story about the electrical There was actually a funny story about electrical torture. Um, as long as there's some dumbass trying to fucking everything new stuff will be discovered constantly. Yep. But there was actually a funny thing that about the electrical torture with like the electric chair. Uh -huh. The electric chair was invented just to show the other way. So basically remember the person that invented the light bulb and electricity and then his competition, which is Tesla. Hey, you got like a Korok puzzle that was right there, you just passed it. So basically, uh, you know Tesla? Yes. Was this? Oh, so, there was two ways to make energy. One was... One was actually a lot more safer, it won't actually hurt the person and the lights will last longer, but it didn't give enough like source of power for a lot of stuff. The other one did, but it was deadlier to people. So the person, and Tesla wanted to do the one that was much more effective, but more deadlier, well the other one wanted to stay safe. And the person that wanted to stay safe wanted to prove how bad Tesla electricity would be. So he turned it into, he decided to make the electric chair for the first new execution for Prisoners. Honestly, kind of comforting to hear in a very strange way. Maybe I'm just weird, but I personally enjoy. Because during the time, the they were trying to figure out ways to like get rid of the 
rope and so they were trying to find new ways for an execution thing. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, not the same. It was literally the E, I don't remember, but both of them had a competition of like whose electric version was better. Tesla won in the end because basically he, he just, his output just get like, his output was much more stronger. Another terrible torture that also doesn't sound that bad is making you kneel on rice. Do that for 20 minutes. Tell me how you feel. Dude, and I tell you how it. it is excruciating after a while. Dude, I had to kneel on freaking gravel. Yeah, it's cringe. I've had to as well, and it hurts to high heavens after a certain amount of time. It's not as bad. It's not as bad as for at first, and then it gets really unbearable after some time. I think just kneeling in general is something that's like so many artists. Yeah. Like a good one is like freaking cement. DC is oh, safer. Extremely. DC is safer, but boy, it's hard. It's hard and expensive to convert it. Ah, AC that was will the reason. Just fuck you up. And AC will just fuck you up, too. But it was easy to make. Yeah. Alternating currents is not what you want in your body. It, it just... It, believe it or not, humans do produce electricity. I mean, we literally, quite literally do that. That's how our heart actually kind of... It has its own little pacemaker, in a way, to, like, very much just kind of dumb that down we essentially have our own yeah. it's overriding Legit, that the person while that also screwing us up in dc, all our was, other DC came first before ac yeah and the dude that just invented dc just wanted to like show how dangerous ac was so basically and since basically people are trying to figure out how to get rid of the hangman uh they decided to like you know what i'll show you how dangerous ac is they didn't like it because basically at the time it wasn't as fast or literally the body got burned alive by electric uh -huh. ace business said people said ac is deadly but we want profits not safety yep and now people are saying we want safety and profits Just so weird. they charge you for your safety even though i feel like it should be a requirement that everything's just you know safe I feel like there's always should be a balance of both. I feel like there shouldn't be a whole thing of we need money to do this. Money is literally the creation of humans just doing shit. Literally, money means nothing. Human Damn. right is a suggestion until it's very recent. It's still a suggestion. So many people do so many terrible things and make terrible laws against it's people. Like, I think the only people are trying to do rush inventions of like quick tests is right now is like rich people like Elon Musk with uh, Operation with his like rockets trying to get to space. Mm. Like I said, like I kind of I'm like 50 50 on how they work with that. I feel like they do the quick testing until after they figure out how it works, and after that, they figure out how to make it safe. I mean, you need to kind of test your rockets and shit. That's just how it works. So, like, it, basically, like, if you succeed it once in one way, and then basically you see if you can make it do it multiple times without having anybody getting hurt after. I mean, that's why most missions are unmanned, because we don't know if it's safe or not. That's why they test it in the first place. That's with anything, though. Devices that are simple as phones, even. Well, I say simple as phones, but phones nowadays are extremely complicated. Such In fact, that's the reason I know I'm bringing up some terrible stuff right now. But that's why the sub, that sub was invented. It was actually an experimental sub. Experimental my ass, dude. He should not have put people on it. It was, but set for the Ocean Gate, it was an experimental sub. Not to, it was legit meant for testing. While basically yeah. making people for 
like it oh but also telling people oh it's like somewhat safe it was successful yeah i think it went on like two or three other expeditions before then as well and they were like see it works and it's like nah you got lucky brother yeah i don't think there's anything wrong with speaking about stuff like this it totally went don't like it. six or seven times and it was successful but like the sixth time it was having problems seven times it was also having problems Eight time it boom boom it was trying to get back up on the surface they actually got the thing like yeah things are going wrong but i think it was too late because water got already inside from some area but not in the yeah no they yet. had a recording of it and you could see the condensation in the submarine i'm like uh oh that means shortly afterwards that video that they posted kind of that was the last thing they have a video where he's like look at the submarine and you can see the condensation inside the submarine i'm like hey yo that's not supposed to happen but some experimental he was literally using expired carbon fiber and everything it's so bad Robert Which, yeah, literally the just part. there's nothing yeah. wrong about talking about the fucking heartless Art less than twisted or special can be. Like I said, there's things that basically there is risking things for the sake of speeding things up, and things are basically making it's successful, it. and making sure it's successful, successful 100 percent of the time. Yeah. I just because I want to eat in the food industry priority. Yeah, it does. I saw that too. That was weird. I was like, really? Why? Not that the food industry is great either. They're both cringe. Because humans. You don't ever notice. Desires. I know I'm not the only one who noticed this. Like, like for instance, eggs, right? Mm -hmm. Every couple of years, they'd be like, eggs are unhealthy for you. And then they'll be like, oh, wait, eggs are healthy for you. And they keep changing the prices, but it's always when the sales are low. And so they keep changing up what's healthy and what's not, and what's good for you, and what'll help you, and everything like that. They keep changing that. Every couple of years when they realize the sale, the height died down for whatever it is. Or they need to, like, get more money or something. They do I that all the time. I still believe that basically having that, like, that few thing to making sure it's somewhat healthy is good enough it is. Because you should have seen it without basically the health regulations. I'm not saying certain health regulations are bad. I'm just saying they don't care about that. They only did it because they were losing money because people just weren't buying shit anymore. They didn't necessarily care. One of the things to even prove this was actually with the sugar industry. Who uh, needs chickens? Let's revive, di let's revive dinosaurs and let's start farming them. Bro, I do not want dinosaurs. As cool as they are, I, I'm cool. I've seen Jurassic Park and Ark. I'm fine. <laughs> I've seen Jurassic Park and Ark Survival Evolved. Last thing we need is that. Bro, I don't want a hyper colorful raptor eating my ass. I think I'm fine. But, like, um, no, this is actually something that happened in the 70s, the sugar companies. Um, so, that are so highly sponsored nowadays. Basically, what ended up happening was you know what like the miracle berry but the thing that basically just fucks up your sensors in your mouth mm -hmm. and makes everything taste sweeter for like a small amount of time okay they started saying that was unhealthy and bad for you while also saying sugar was better and, and alternatively healthier for you right that is not true <laughs> it is really not true but also so saying that sugar the smaller is unhealthy and is calmer sweeter. dinos what is a smaller, calmer dinos for people? Right <laughs> well, now? there aren't any. They're all wild animals. I I don't want any of those. Because then you get dinosaurs like compies. They're small, but there's a lot of them. I was like thinking, like at the time, like basically, like just bring back dodos. See, we had dodos though. Those weren't even dinosaurs. I was just straight up a bird. Yeah, that was straight up a bird that was too dumb that basically, literally, humans thought, like, they just, just need to be extinct because they're too dumb. That wasn't even why. They just overhunted them because they liked the dodo meat. That the, They went in, extinct in 1886. That was recently. 
And it was literally because people just overhunted them for their feathers and for food. And then they died out and they were like, Ooh, we don't have any more dodos! It's like, I wonder why! Same way they killed, like, half the bear population in California. The chicken could still kill you, but the chances are low. But well, yeah, it's not the size of me! It's not a 190-pound chicken, it's just a, a little tiny chicken I can literally kill. Is it going to talking about, die. like, a giant chicken, or are we talking about a terror bird here? I don't know at this point. Because either like one is a giant... Though. Either way, it's scary. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Roosters are scary. I I hate roosters, bro. Like they're not scary in a sense of oh, I can't like you know size up to it, but like it's a rooster. Those little fuckers, bro. They're so territorial and protective. Their re reality was very small. Kill the emus. Yep, don't be electrocuted. Literally, just stab it. Or shoot it. You know what? It'll fucking electrocute it. You can slow down time by flurry or by uh, using your um jump and jump off of that paraglide and then shoot. Oh my god, Cobra! You can you can bullet time. Remember that. You know, this yes. body that I reside in <laughs> is quite the enigma. I don't understand why it does these things, but sometimes I'm just tempted to just whisper in his ear. Jump off a cliff, it's simple. Oh, it's hot here. You're going to burn to death if you don't leave that area. I swear, you're basically the mind that basically the carrier had to tell its own mind that has to talk to you in freaking Blue Mountain. Bro, I'm your consciousness and I'm the best consciousness you've ever fucking had. Listen to me, I like, actually like good revive, information. Like, their ex, it's impressive, sure, but expensive to maintain, dangerous since the body goes through a lot of stress and his meat is probably really th through Tough the bitter. Well, alone, it basically it doesn't have the environment anymore to actually sustain itself. Yeah, it would literally just die. You're a to make everything extinct. No, like one uh, of those fuckers is a problem. Funny enough, the Rex was actually more of a corpse hunter. Yeah, it just kind of it was a scavenger. People overhyped the Rex way too much, in my opinion. Maybe because it was the first thing, it, uh, first then it was found. Yeah, still overhyped. T-Rexes were not that cool. They were quite literally just scavengers. My favorite dinosaur is person, the Triceratops. And there's so many reasons why. Triceratops would absolutely fucking wail on you, bro. You know how rhinos are? It's that, but bigger. It's still a big animal regardless. Like, anything that is big, really, that... It has to have retained a lot of food and water. Which basically they were relying it because other things were big next to it, so... Yeah. Just basically, like, we just don't have enough food for it. crocodiles and alligators enough? Isn't Florida enough for dinosaurs? You've been to Florida before? The crap's crazy. I haven't been there. I have a cousin who lives there. Fucking... Florida's cringe. Yeah, it's like, they can actually get the size of a dinosaur. The only reason why they don't, because basically they just can't... They don't have the point. resources, but if they did, those fuckers would be terrorizing everybody. Personally, though, and this may sound weird, hey, same thing I kind of want to chunk an alligator as a pet. We could literally get a Jaws if they literally had the resources for it. I think there could be. We have explored 70% of the ocean because it is so deep. I think there could be and something. Now People just say less... it's impossible. We literally and... have no evidence. And the <laughs> People are going to be less Car trying puzzle. because after... after... Chihuahuas are scarier, 100%. No, it's just... Take a... Uh, there's a cheese for this, because you're not going to be able to throw it in from that. You see, you have you have Cryonis, right? Like, put the rock down real fast? It selects mm -hmm. Cryonis. 
You see where that rock is at the bottom? The one yeah, close to you? Or can I do this later? Uh, put a stamp on it so you don't forget where it is. It's on a bridge. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of bridges. Press the minus on one. On a wood bridge that is basically right here on the thinnest bridge. Press A. Stamp. <laughs> yeah, you can stamp it. Go on. And then just put a leaf there. Leaf equals Korok. There. Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> no, I probably would know it because it's there because memory. You ain't even remember the controls, so I don't trust you. Yeah, but I can remember remember map. The fact that the male has a female it. inner voice is... The fact that the male has a female inner voice is suspicious. He what, just what? feels like a girl today. Saying like, well, Master Chief had Cortana, so. Okay, yeah, but that wasn't in her voice. That was literally an AI. That became basically his inner voice. Oh, fucking point. well, he fused with Robot Lady. Apparently, also had a fear. It was really well, weird. It wasn't a robot though. I'm his inner consciousness. Apparently, also like. Clearly, his inner consciousness was Robot Lady after that. Maybe I'm a demon, I don't know. Maybe I'm his Archangel. Maybe I'm just a fucking ghost. I'm getting his consciousness. Stupid mind, unfortunately, is so cluttered with useless information it's hard to get through to him that he needs to do certain things to do certain things. I'm sorry you know what that I, I have mean? too much tank facts, so... I can just throw out this information. It's not going to be useful to you at any time soon. It always is useful in World of Tanks. I will declutter everything. <laughs> no! That is cringe! No, thank you. Just make sure he doesn't use your voice. Don't read that out loud. <laughs> That is a warning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cringe. Poor Mondo. <laughs> It's like, it's kind of weird now <laughs> thinking about basically Master Chief, like, in the fourth one and fifth one, was it oh, all about so him just having like... Don't even go there. I know what you're about to say. <laughs> well, I'm not joking. He's in love with a freaking female AI now. <laughs> it's like the dude that married the DS. Do you remember that new story? I haven't, but I have heard that there was some people that actually married, like, some... Like, oh no, there's already because... someone that's already, like, married an AI. And the AI literally tells him, I only love you, and he's, like, enamored with this robot. I'm like, oh no, it's already cyberpunk kind of shit now. That ain't right. I mean, you do you, though. If the robot's the only thing that makes you feel whole, then so be it. Who am I to judge? You like what you like. If the robot is that, then so be it. You should probably go behind a pillar. There you go. Kick his ass. Do I have anything stronger? I am his consciousness, I already told you. His consciousness is his best friend. Yes, because they lack a real one. Oh. 
Ouch. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? You can flurry rush those, by the way. I don't know. Forever alone moment. Aren't we all? <laughs> but now, surprisingly, <laughs> forever alone moment. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> now, here's the funniest part. I'm actually really good at Doom Eternal. <laughs> he literally has no excuse on why his reflexes are so bad. So my the reflex object permanence of a toddler. Because I actually play, I actually play Doom Eternal on ultra violence. <laughs> so, really hard mode. Well, then use that skill here. Literally, no excuse why you cannot do it. Jump to the side when that happens. Oh, yep. I know, Mondo. I said that too. I said your ass would be grass in master mode. There ain't no way. Because you said you were going to try to 100% this game. Ain't no way you would do it in master mode, brother. Like, actually. Unironically. I don't want to. I, I, I would like to have faith in you. But after seeing what I've been seeing for the past, like, eight hours in total, I've seen you play Breath of the Wild, it ain't happening anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to see you try anyway. It's just funny. Oh, you flurry rush that! Let's go! Oh, no, no, no. he's a thing. I didn't think he'd hit that. That's weird. Yeah, same with me. You don't trust. <laughs> you, by the way, uh, Cobra, I'm gonna just say this now. I really do not recommend this test of strength for you for where you are in the game at the moment. There's a few shrines that are like this scattered over Hyrule. Mm -hmm. They're called major. I think this one's a major test of strength. Uh, you do not have the weapons for this. Or the skill this... set. So should I just go? Yeah, kind of just leave this one alone. You can still teleport to it. You still have it. I yeah, just I don't it. recommend it for where you are. This is I the would. modest. I really would. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, Dude no, I is don't. Struggling with. Yes. Dude is struggling with a bubble. <laughs> I don't trust. Him. Yeah, just come back to this shrine later. <sighs> oh, my bad. I didn't realize it was a modest test of strength. Oh, uh, it was a major one for a second. Yeah, uh, just come back to this another day. That one in particular, the modest and higher isn't that hard. But with the weapons you have, your reflexes, and your amount of hearts, I, I feel like you just need a little bit more. Shouldn't okay. be too hard to get some hearts soon, though. Just do shrines, do some stuff. Oh, that's... uh. It's a stall moblin. The sun's coming up, so he's not gonna kill you. Or he won't eventually. Make his weapon. Good for you. Like that. Pull through book all your weapons though. Hey, at least you got like a battle axe plus plus, so oh. I mean <laughs> Probably leave this one alone. I got a mob. That moblin arm is pretty good. You may want that. Oh my. Choo choos are oddly cute. I just want to squish it and feel all its goo on my hand. That sounds bad. Hold up. 
<laughs> Let me rephrase that one. Uh, there ain't no way to rephrase that one. There ain't no saving it. It's just unfortunate. Stop. No, it, it did not sound good. Trust me, there's a lot of things I've said on the stream that just don't sound great. But it really wasn't intentional. It was just me thinking out loud. But, like, the thought sounded better in my head than it did out loud. And then I realized... She said oh, that basically that she wants dirty. to switch the goo thingy. Yeah, the choo-choo. The Sorry. Inside. I just really need the coffee. <laughs> it makes me sleepy, but it tastes good. <laughs> Freaking autocorrector, that's my life in a nutshell. Autocorrector can't fix the shit you type, man. I can't spell. <laughs> well, we can teach you how to spell. That's what school tried to do. I have a better way. School, I will say right now, is cringe. At least in America. It's very cringe. We'll teach you how to articulate your words even better. But you don't. But I thought you guys liked my freaking stupidity. Not really. Only sometimes. But in terms of writing and such, it'd be easier to convey what you want to say if you could pronounce and spell things correctly. Mm -hmm. Oh, my autocorrector does that all the time. I'll be typing on my phone and say, what the fuck, if I'm responding to something, it'll just say, what the duck, all the time. And I'm like, oh my god. Most annoying thing ever. Because, like, even though I turn on the whole, hey, it's a guardian over there. That's kind of funny. You want to try to kill him? Yeah, there's about three guardians around me, and I'm just wandering. Wait, are you near Hyrule Castle? Where are you? Yeah, you are. This is not where you want to be right now. Oh, You're fuck. going to get roasted and toasted, brother. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I am. You better, uh, hurry up and... <sighs> when you said three guardians, I said, hold up, that ain't right. Oh. <laughs> get out of there. Like, teleport or something. <laughs> that, that that's not where you want to be right now. I was like just wandering. You at the moment. I was straight up wandering. What are you doing? Pressing. Pick up location. Pressing B S T M A. Oh my god. <laughs> at least, <laughs> dude refuses to use his stamina even when there's a guardian. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm the dumb one for this thing? You should really see me when I'm on the freaking when I'm freaking playing Sea of Thieves with these guys on a freaking galleon. It's like the, it's like the complete <laughs> opposite. <laughs> galleon is funny. I remember <clears throat> one time. Being typical, brought kegs onto the ship and Cobra just shot it. Gloom hands are scary. Gloom hands are not scary. Literally, mighty or savage lino bow and amber and or gibdo bones. Get like gloom hands will literally just get one shot at this point by me. They they don't mean a thing. Yeah, glue hands aren't shit, brother. They're just there. They're just kind of... I will attack them for fun. But they just aren't... Oh, early game? Just teleport. Uh, where do I go next? So. Uh, do whatever you want. The scheme is about freedom and being in the wild. I would personally recommend filling up your map. You gotta get a lot of towers. 
Okay, I'll go. Uh, over here it's then. easier to it's easier to get towers, and now, well, it's technically harder because certain ones are in like high level areas. But um, who the uh who scared of anything with a five x bow with bomb flowers? I mean. I literally attacked every high level thing I could very early game. I was still walking around with three hearts and like a stamina wheel after I went to the funny statue to trade out the heart, the forced heart you had to get for the stamina wheel. And then like walked around just killing everything. Like I had nothing but silver enemies when I had three hearts in that game. For me personally, the early game was very short for me personally just because. I went in Balls Deep for no reason. <laughs> Other than, hmm, I want Lynels, and that's what I was doing. And then I murdered Gleox for fun, because Gleox are honestly one of the most underwhelming bosses I've ever fought. They don't do anything. If you have arrows, you're good. 40 arrows, all you need. Easy bosses. Let's go straight to Hyrule Castle, get them weapons, come back out, you're built now. Oh yeah, that's also true for this game, Cobra. If you go to Hyrule Castle, you can get a lot of really good weapons. The only thing... Um... The only thing is, I really do not recommend that for you. Because every enemy there is very powerful. But if you want good weapons, go over to Hyrule Castle. You really trust me to go over there? I mean, I said if you want really good weapons and if you can handle it, do you think you can handle it? Do you think I can handle it? I don't know. Do you think you can handle it? It was like, be honest, I have the stamina of trying over and over and over again, but do I still have the skill for it? <laughs> I don't know. If you actually applied what I said, perhaps you'd do better. You seen me when I was fighting in the freaking <laughs> Like I said, it what took said, me about what twelve times better. until basically I figure out what you were saying. <laughs> Not like you need the Majora's Mask you can handle, bro. I'm still upset about that reward. That was stupid. Why does fighting five Lionels give you Majora's Mask? That is so dumb. I was not happy about that item at all. What does Majora's Mask do besides basically the one in the game? Makes you the game. Uh, it makes it harder for enemies to target you or to even recognize you. You can just be around them and they'll just be friendly to you if you're wearing a Majora's Mask. Unless it's a Lionel. They'll be friendly to you for a little bit and then they'll beat your ass because they're actually very smart. Yeah, muscle memory is very useful. That's why I was saying in the beginning of the game, Cobra, you should really start flurry rushing a lot more, even if these enemies basically can die to two hits. Reason why is because you're gonna have no choice but to flurry rush at a certain point. And if you don't get it now, you're gonna have a harder time when it gets to that point where you have to. Because the game will not be extremely forgiving. Especially since they'll be like silver enemies or something. Or not silver, yeah, silver enemies carry like royal broadswords and stuff. So you should really learn how to use your abilities and such. Last thing fun. you need is dealing with the funny weapon. Nope. Funny crap, wrong button. Enemies. Did they even? How did they not see you? You're just standing right there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cringe. You weren't even like hiding or anything. Apparently, I'm not the only one done. The only dumb one that is around here. Yeah. Yes, I'm comparing you know, myself to them to see. freaking Tears of the Kingdom are actually just annoying. Let's go. You, you remembered what I said about shooting ice arrows at them. Fire Rod is very good, by the way. Even if it doesn't like it, does a lot of damage. Drop that rusty halibut. Okay. Another good rod that you will get eventually is called a Meteor Rod. It's basically a Fire Rod, but on steroids. You're gonna get hit. 
I got him. That's all I wanted to do. Now I can get rid of these yeah, guys. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> so nice. Ball marrows. You should be very careful. I forgot about this tower having all this shit. I think if I just came in from like some. No, I had Revali's Gale around this point. Uh, no, not really. I have not been afraid of any of the enemies. Maybe the Gleok at first, just because I didn't understand how to fight it, but after like the <laughs> first or second try. No, the first try, I killed him. I killed mine on the first try when I actually meant to encounter it, not the one in the ice biome that I, w I had no idea was even there. Nah, the Zonai weapons, I don't even care about. It's the Zora weapons in that game I'm all about. The Zora weapons? Into heal. The Zora weapons are the best, in my opinion. All I need is a choo-choo jelly, throw it at my feet, and everyone's dead. God, you need to start cooking. Oh, Zonai devices? If I said what I, I was about really to say, I was going to get killed on the spot. What happened? If I was going to say what I was about to say, I was going to get killed on the spot. What were you going to say? No, thank you. Say it. I would like life. <laughs> no, you don't. Say it. <laughs> no, thank you. I like life. <laughs> what? Nah, now I really didn't know what you were gonna no. say. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad was it? Uh, it's not bad in, like, basically, like, it, uh, like, Twitch context, but it's bad that basically you would be extremely mad at me. What were you going to say? I'm, I'm probably gonna, gonna kill you either way at this point, so just spit it out. <laughs> I was I was about to say that cooking is overrated, but like you say that, but you've almost died like eighteen times because you didn't have food. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> it's really not. After you kill these lasafels, use the stupid pot. There's something I want you to cook in particular. He's dead, or at least will be. Just kind of let him sit there. He's not coming back up. Go to the pot. Press start, once you do. Now, press X. This is gonna be one of the most useful things to you. You see those... I'm those listening. three green mushrooms. Oh, there can you go. Can you hear me? Now I can. <laughs> Select them all. Move with the R stick once, like to the right. So let's see if you have something particular. Go on. Like, move to the next page of items. Uh, move to the other page of items. Okay, you don't have any. Press B. Press A. You can press X on this, you don't have to actually watch this scene. See that? It restores stamina. This is very useful when you're climbing up stuff, especially towers. Press start again. Press X. Grab two of those purple mushrooms. Move okay. to the next page. Um, move to the next page. Grab that lizard. Move to the previous page. Use that thing at the bottom left-hand corner. Hello? Press A. Back out, press B. Press A. This is a hasty elixir. It lets you move faster. The higher quality ingredients you have, such as Lionel Guts and or yeah, Lionel Guts or something of the sort, the better effects it has. The better ingredients you use in terms of like what kind of like a hot footed frog or something, it may make it better. Press start again. I'm gonna force you to cook. Press X. <laughs> Grab two herbs. The one on the top right. 
two of them. Move to the next page. Grab one chicken, meat, or fish. Press B. Press A. See? Look how much hearts it heals. It heals six. It's a full heal for you. So if you're low on hearts, you can heal more and faster. Press A and do this thing again. This time I'm going to tell you to use a different ingredient. Press start. Press X. Pick two of those gray mushrooms that have the big black dots on them. Go to the next page. Pick one mushroom, just regular mushroom, like that Hylian shroom. Press B. Press A. See you, Lysandra. All right, latest. That gives you defense, so you don't die as easily. Just keep scolding his ass until he gets good at Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Press start again. Press X. Grab the two blue mushrooms on the first row and the Teacher? fourth block. Teacher? Yes. Can you grab a drink? No. Press <laughs> the two, four. You see the thing with the blue mushroom? On the fourth block, in the top row, grab three of those. Go down, one, move two to the left, grab one of those, press B, press A. This is a stealth item. Not very useful in most applications, but hey, it's there. Are you putting him in a... Now you can drink. <laughs> Are you putting him in a... <laughs> At this point, because he wasn't going to learn any other way. Drink your water, whatever you were drinking. All right, I was going to grab a drink. And go grab it. <laughs> right back. He, Londo, you don't understand. This fool was not going to do it himself. He literally said cooking was overrated and was not going to cook anything. So I have to walk him through this like a toddler and tell him to cook it because he's not going to do it. And I feel bad because I got to yell at him on stream. But he's not going to listen if I don't. So I have to yell at him like he's a five-year-old. Because if I talk quietly like I normally do for this, he ain't going to listen. He literally hasn't cooked this whole game, and it's killing him. And he's eaten all the raw materials he could use to make better food that would have healed him faster. He's like, I don't eat to cook, but he does because he's getting to the point where that's required. Whether he likes it or not, eventually he's going to have 10 hearts and just eating random raw materials is not going to help. Welcome back. Press X. Alright, uh, there because I didn't want to. Alright, X. Go to the next page. Grab the two fish. Press B. Press A. See, heals four hearts. You see how much faster that is? How it uses less materials and gives you more healing? Press start. We're cooking you enough so you can exist long enough. Because <laughs> I have a feeling you won't be existing any longer. Press those three green or Take all those herb, those herbs. At the top row. Top left. Or top right. Yeah, my bad. That was my fault. Oops. Well, the thing you're highlighted over. Press X and hold them all. I think you get the idea now. Mm -hmm. Cook it. That actually hit a lot more than I thought it would. What the heck? 
Okay, anyway. Do it one more time. Press start. Grab one rock salt. It's that pink rock at the bottom. Then grab those two pretty crabs. Press B. Press A. That heals your whole stamina wheel and also gives you a decent amount of healing for where you are at the game. And that's all you need for the moment. Let me see your cooked items thingy. Press Y. Okay. Uh, maybe cook one more thing. Uh, press. Go back to the items. Press X. Grab one salt and then grab any of the meats. You only need one if you're using prime meat. Press B. Press A. And even I cook more than him. <laughs> See that kill that heals three hearts. Keep cooking that one dish. Just use one prime meat and press A on it when you're ready to cook. Just cook one prime meat. Yes. And keep doing that till you run out of prime meat. Because you have some little hearts that cooking two of them would be a waste. So like that, and then just cook it. And keep doing that till you run out of those. You're gonna thank me for this. Well, I should be right. getting paid for this. <laughs> well, I'm not getting paid the stream, so. I'm being paid to. Oh well, you got stopped by the rain. You literally cannot cook right now. Just you can't climb the tower either. It's too slippery. You just gotta kind of wait till the rain's out. It's no one's real fault. This game's kind of cringe. It just rains all the time for I no guess reason. Guess we can just look around the space then. Yeah, why not? There may be some chests or something nearby. Thing, extra arrows or something like that. No, he. Yeah, I, I thought he could still climb the tower because basically it looks more like a ladder than anything else. Oh yeah, no, you can still climb it. My bad. I just immediately said, "Ooh, rain, no climb." Yeah, go ahead and climb it. Yeah, you can still climb the towers. I forget about that. It has been a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm gonna forget the cook now. No, you won't. Oh, hey. I don't know how he was. Oh, wait, no, I know how he respawns. You never actually die. Oh, may as well grab a spear on the floor. How satisfied are you with learning? Satisfied, five. satisfied until I forget. Okay, level one through five. One being the least satisfactory, five being you're happy. Four. Okay. See, you, you now have food, you have a few recipes in your mind that you can use for certain things. All that junk. Stealth? I'm gonna be real with you, not useful. I just use it to make a bunch of copious mushroom stews and shit like that. Like, I don't actually use the stealth mushrooms for anything in particular. Or stealth anything, because stealth in itself doesn't really matter in this game. It exists, but like, if you're really into the whole, ooh, I hunt without people knowing I'm there, or I want to sneak up on enemy, like, there's, there's a gear set that lets you do that. And it's upgradable, so you can have as much defense as you want in it. If you don't like how it looks, though, then, I mean, don't worry. But I don't like how it looks personally, so I don't worry. But stealth in this game is a lie. Literally doesn't matter. I don't understand why, uh... 
So basically, like it still stealth exists. and like basically like stealth and basically Fallout is just not worth. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's just kind of there. So after a while, you're gonna have like a bunch of silent princesses, blue nightshades, silent mushrooms, and fireflies in your inventory because you just never use them. Stealth and trout's very rare though. You probably won't find that. Yes, but, I mean, um, basically, it's like I don't really go. <laughs> you see me how I play Fallout Four. Who goes in guns blaze and come out like yeah, okay what's this place? That's what you're doing to Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. You it, stealth <laughs> means nothing because in the day they're gonna see you when you start killing, so it it doesn't matter. There is only one thing I could say stealth is good for, and you don't need stealth elixirs or any gear for this, and it's called sneak striking. That does so much damage and can potentially one shot weaker enemies. It's good if you want to do that. But as soon as you do, you're gonna wake everybody else up. So you better pick your enemy wisely, whoever you're You just need a strike. box, <laughs> apparently. You notice that I just shot an arrow and they can never find me, which is basically a Oh, crate yeah, that happens to too. But be careful. So the, that's because they're lower enemy or level, lower level the goblins. Higher level enemies are gonna notice you. Lionels are a perfect example of this. You cannot hide from them. At what least not Lionels? easily. Hmm? What are Lionels? Lionels are basically minotaurs, but if they were mixed with, instead of a man body, it was a lion, but if it had the body of a horse, but it also had a six pack. So they would shit on you. Kinda. Not really. But they will absolutely crap on you. Even a basic Lionel can shit on you if you don't know what to do against it. Probably get that shrine over there, because that's your stable. <laughs> yeah, even a basic Lionel, if you're not good at the game, will absolutely, like, fist you. You just kind of gotta not encounter them if you can't handle it. Like, uh, do you remember when you were in the Zora area, and that thing was shooting arrows? That's a Lionel. You've seen a Lionel. You've encountered one, you've dealt with it. You can 100% kill them. They are very killable. It's just, you have to be very good at the game. Oh, you alerted the camp. There's a camp nearby? I didn't see one. If, if someone has a horn, there's a camp nearby. I want to probably find up it. the hill. Also, he had arrows. You probably want to go pick that up. Yeah, Lionels are cool. I like them. I like the design. I like fighting them. They're funny. They're cute. They think they're badass, oh, but they're really like, not. Oh, groups around here. He'll fall down the mountain, maybe. Oh, he didn't. So, Mondo, right there. how are you doing? Oh, that was cringe. You should heal. Just hold the air stick all the way. Let's see, look at how convenient that is, Cobra. Go for the meat sticks. Go for the meat sticks. It's a lot simpler that way. Yeah, just eat that and call it a day. He even eats like you. Oh my god. I don't eat that. I don't eat like that. Grab all, his, grab all the key stuff. The key stuff is actually gonna be useful to you eventually. Oh, he got a nice spear. Hey, Farosh. That's the dragon you just saw. You probably hear music from it. This is so close by. What the? F it's a dragon. His name is Far, or her name is Farosh. Should there I bring him swined? No, uh, not really. The Far Farosh is very neutral. They they don't hate you or anything. 
but like when you get close to them, they shoot little electric balls. You can shoot at them and get scales from them, but you don't have to worry about that right now. It's not necessary for you. Okay. <laughs> it's like, should I there's because... Faroj, there's Denral, and there's Nidra. Faroj is an electric dragon. Nidra is an ice dragon. And then rolls a fire dragon. Why am I good with the arrows, but I suck with everything else? Because your reaction time is out of a turtle. But we can change that. I was gonna leave it up to you to heal yourself. Are you gonna say anything? <laughs> you you just said something. That's all I'm gonna say then. <laughs> You're you. That's not all you said then. You're still talking. There we go. See how easy that is not to speak. Dang, it didn't save that whole time. That's kind of cringe. What the heck? I thought for sure it saved at one point. Guess not. Well, now you know the importance of pressing start and save. Because this game's cringe. It'll just auto save when it doesn't want to. Or when you don't want it to, but it won't save when you need it to. I don't know why. The reason why I went back to these guys because these guys just like they're holding bows, so I can probably get a lot of arrows out of them. Anything that holds a bow usually drops arrows if you're not fighting them for super long. I got I was shooting a lot of arrows, so I was kind of like seeing where they all landed. I 
hope people know that I'm not actually trying to treat you like an like like I'm an asshole or something. No, <laughs> I, I'll literally tell. It's like they already know that probably when I'm saying like, yeah, I'm an idiot and legit, I am legit not doing this on purpose. <laughs> And probably a lot of people are feeling the same way you are, even if I put this on YouTube. So. Hmm? Should I continue going that one or go to the one that says it's close but nearby? Um, what? So it's saying there's a shrine nearby this direction. Just go to the one that's in front of you for now. You can go back to that other one if it's truly there later. Mighty thistles, very useful. We are tower that grips, grips the towers that grips, so you can still climb. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. That guy was just what basic happened? nothing. I was just rereading Mondo's thing because I wasn't really. Uh. I just remembered right after I read that. Just um. Tomorrow I'm streaming freaking Subnautica. Oh, this is a test of strength again. Which one? Uh, minor, we'll major, what... moderate. Oh, minor test of strength. You can do this one. Which weapon should I use? Use that Bacoblin. Just break all your super weak weapons, honestly against this thing. It's not that bad. You'll get better weapons from it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was not paying attention. When do I ever pay attention? Never. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I wasn't paying attention and I'm like, wait, do I ever pay attention at this point? <laughs> Probably because the answer is no. Huh? Probably Don't backflip from that side hop. Side hop is this way, okay. Hmm. It's spinning. Yeah, that works anyways. Psst. 
of nature. Gone for me. I hated that it's basically it's a reach range. That was a panic. I panicked into that. Another weapon. It is an auto select one for you. Use the cobble arm. You got my arm? Yeah, which is pretty good. I trust to myself. Seal three hearts exactly. But that you last one, menu, when I... by the way. What is it doing? Uh, back away from it. Use the updraft to shoot at it. Use oh, your paraglider. Use your bow. I'm guessing I have to... You don't have to, but if you want to get damage into it, do that. I got to hit it in the eye. Yeah. Hold on, I got a... I what I want to do. I got a lot of bomb arrows. You gotta what? press X twice, you can't press X once. I know. I tried, to, I think at the time, I'm... At the time, he was just barely stopping. I was like, wait, I collected a lot of bombs somewhere. Yeah, there was a buck goblin that had them, I think. Near that tower you were at. Still don't know what to do with those. You figure it out soon enough. They're used for quest. Okay. <laughs> I might be thinking dirty, but look at the hand and what it's doing. Look at this golden hand. Look what it's doing. Look at this golden hand. Look what it's doing. Does it? What? Look at the skeleton hand. Yeah, I know. It's feeling your ass.
I was to like, grab some of that, bro. It needs a fistful of it. It's like, why? <laughs> it's like, it's like, glance down. <laughs> and the reason is because based on my soda, is I place my soda like below the TV. We're continuing. Sorry. <laughs> Where were we going? <laughs> huh? You were going to that other sh shrine that was near the, um... Oh, what's it called? The stable. Stop pressing L. I don't know what I just did, but okay. I'm guessing the farther away I am, the easier it is from the castle. Yeah, kinda. You don't want to be close to the castle. The castle bed. I was basically saying, or in short, like basically the farther away I'm, like the region's farther away from the castle. Yeah, so there's no guardians or something. What is that? Ow. Oh, fuck. Just hit them a couple times. I stopped to kill them because arrows. That's fine. Get as much arrows as you can. If you know the arrows are your strong suit, then find them. At this point, yeah. Like At the moment, arrows is my strong suit. Continue Wait, down in this path. For four hours. Yeah, I know. What the, who the fuck? Oh, Cass! That's my favorite boy. Don't He's ask a question. Don't exclude. Huh? Uh, no worries. Nope. I just realized we don't see Cass in Tears of the Kingdom. I kind of miss Cass. He's my favorite character.
Do you want me to hear it? No. What you do? Did you deny what he said or something? I just he said like you want me to hear it and like and I asked like do you want me to hear it or no? He didn't reply, so I was like, okay. So I denied and continue on my way. That's the reason. He gives you a shrine quest. No. Oh. Each time you see him, that's why. I'm gonna climb back so I can see exactly where we left off. The tower over there. And there's the. There's... How's the shrine? Over there. No, over <sighs> there where the stable is right over there. Yeah, it was always near stable. Yeah, since I'm early, I'm kind of like streaming like a bit longer. Uh -huh. So like, I think it's like four to nine now. So yep. You know what's really cool one time that I decided to go around and look at some natural areas over in Utah? Hmm. I was in Utah. I actually went and decided to go check out one of the old resting st areas for st resting stable areas that used to be during the Oregon Trail. Mm -hmm. and it was quite neat that basically um, how it worked. Like, they don't use it anymore because reasons it was just meant to, like, since your horse can only go for so long. Yeah. It's meant to, like, stable your horse there and then bring a new horse and continue your pathway. It was meant for, like, a lot more people, for people that is, like, trap, uh, sending mail back and forth. Mm-hmm. So that was, like, their rest stop. Like, kind of, like, basically when trucks had to, like, go to places. And like have a certain area and they have a rest stop for them to sleep at times. Uh -huh. That was kind of the same thing, except it was basically a rest stop, like one stop for like. And it's just like one building and like with a stable next to it. In the legit middle of nowhere. And what took care of it was just basically a family of six. Makes sense to me. It's just like just kind of glancing around and like looking at how it all looked because they kind of kept it preserved to just they kept it preserved to make sure it doesn't crumble on itself but try they kept it natural so it didn't look like it was remade mm -hmm. sorry i was i was talking so that's why i was kind of doing that no 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 That's why I was kind of like a random in my head and the thing because I was talking. Mm -hmm. But like, oh, hello. I thought that I thought you'd probably consider that a bit interesting. It is. Because what was special about the certain one, because you could only go at the stable. Only at the stable.
You can only go at the stable when basically the salt lake was actually lower in water. Yes, the salt lake actually raises and lowers at times. I mean, I know that. I, most of this I already know, but yeah. So that was the stable for basically people that got stuck because it's on an island. <laughs> That basically, mm -hmm. when the water rises, um, it was one of the only pathways during the Oregon Trail. Yep. Yeah, I got to visit that area. As well, I got nice. to see a ghost town. Yeah. There's not really a ghost town anymore. Now, the thing of ghost town is not... And it's not what you think it is. Like, it's not haunted or anything. No, no. I know. It's just, those usually get a little creepy either way. This was, like, kind of a ghost town that turned into a small tourist attraction. Mm -hmm. point because the city kind of, like, went rebooming. But they decided to leave the old buildings there. So they decided to make that a small tourist attraction. And it's, like, nearby. Mm-hmm. And it's an interesting place to like look around because I think what oops, Rumbin. Is that even worth grabbing or no? No, it's it's shit. Okay. can't climb up those walls. Any wall in a shrine that doesn't look like you can climb it, you cannot climb. Alright, how is this? Perhaps you should look at the big box. Oh. The ones you see near the big door. That one over there? <laughs> Don't you find it strange that there's a lot of cracks there? Yeah, that's what I was pointing at. Maybe you should blow it up? With, no, yeah, with that, yeah. I thought you were about to use your bomb arrows. No. Back away from that. Throw it. Pull it up. You can now grab that door. Should make a ramp up to where you need to go. Mm -hmm. I'm just make, gonna go up so I know exactly where I want to place it. But what I thought was interesting over at that ghost town was Boot Hill. Well, let me tell you why it was called Boot Hill. Bunch of boots from dead people. Close. They buried the criminals up on that hill with their boots on and buried them upside down. Yep. And only their boots stuck up. Yep. I don't think I was close. I think I was spot on. I knew the details, but it was basically burying them with their boots. Yep. Just to the sky. Their boots were their, um, their boots was literally their gravestones. Yep. I think I already told you about Quake Lake, but... Yeah. Sad story, that is. It's kind of funny because basically Quake, when Quake Lake happens, everybody thought it was the end of the world because it was so happy to be next to Yellowstone. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't next to Yellowstone, and, it wasn't at, and Yellowstone didn't create it. It was just 
So it happened to fault, happened to move. So that's why I thought it was really funny. Yeah, might as well just go this direction. Another place, and then there was... I went to the Grand Canyon during when I went to Arizona. But that type of like, uh, that type of like, kind of like celebration of like vacation kind of ended short really fast. Mm -hmm. Because like we went, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, I'm not joking about this. We went to the Grand Canyon on January, January 5th. Oh boy. January 5th. Guess what happened on January 6th? <laughs> yeah, I know what happened on January 6th. Literal yeah, I... treason. It was basically, it's like, oh, that was inconvenient. But that was the you know, reason why I was like, eh, that vacation was kind of like, it was great, then it got soiled. <laughs> uh -huh. On our way back home, though, it was really weird. Don't know if I told you it or not. I don't think you have. So we were heading back home, and we were... Just crossing around Utah. I think we we're just getting out of the side of Salt Lake. And um, I think I told you this before a long time ago. I think I texted it on Discord a long time ago. Uh, it was like um, this dude was trying to. I don't know what he was doing, but he was like freaking driving us, driving up on us, looking pissed off, flipping us off, and then trying forcefully slow us down by like slowing his car down trying to make a stop in the middle of the freeway uh -huh. and I was confused and he was nearly stopped well basically me and my mom was like kind of like don't because like we don't know why he was angry he was just angry we didn't do anything he just literally came up and tried to like Agitate us. So I'm like, I know this is sus, and my mom also knew that, so. Uh -huh. Instead of, like, making sure Matt doesn't do something stupid. And actually get us in trouble. More than we need to. Um, my mom pulled out her phone and made, tried to get a... Try to get a picture of the license plate. Right as he sees that he was... My mom was pulling up a phone to get the license plate. He... Booked it. Bruh. Like, literally Cringe. went... He went, like, nine... Like, went to basically 10 to 90 within just 10 seconds. What the fuck? Do you even have an apple left? Does it have to be an apple? I don't think it does, but put an apple, just be careful. Do you even have an apple? Yes. Well, if you don't, then try a mushroom. I don't know if you need an apple or not. I never tried it. I've always used an apple. I don't know how you don't have an apple, but... I think I used it while I was using the... Nice job. It says drop and place it there. And... Yeah, you just Tumbra. didn't do it right. You have to drop it inside the little basket. Like everything else. 
But yeah, like you could tell like right away that was like he was planning to do something and I knew. Who knows? Please don't. We were like next to we were in Salt Lake at the time, so. Yeah. I remember one time, um, me and my mom were at the store, and some random dude came up to us to start yelling the N-word at us, and I was like, oh, cool, I guess. And he was, like, mad, because my mom was, like, ignoring him, and not, yeah, okay, you made an apple, just go find an apple tree, they're coming. <laughs> and he was just yelling at my mom. And shit, and just saying some really nasty things I never want to repeat. I tried Fender, and he got really upset about it. Basically, just like, you stupid in words, and you get out by country because you don't belong here. You're only here to wear us, and you are women anyway, you should be doing. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> he, was, he was a dick. Racist dickhead. Fat old man sitting here with like his belly hanging out his shirt a little bit on the bottom half. <laughs> Fucking redneck looking ass. Mad at us for existing. I'm like, okay, cool. No, I've been like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. It's like fun. Love that. It's been happening a lot more recently too. It's happened to me quite a bit often now. Not a fan personally. Don't worry. I've been having the same problem over a couple other people, except it's kind of the opposite side. I don't think people should attack white people just because a bunch of white people are actually assholes. Never judge until somebody starts opening their mouth and being a dickhead. That's I never assume learn. every just... white person I see is racist, but there, I, there's too many I've met that are. But not everyone is. You and I recognize that. Mm -hmm. And I've faced... Very bad discrimination for years. No. I was about to say, you better blow him up. It's a red but hobbling, bro. You can blow him up. the foods now yeah, like I more blame on political agenda of what they're trying to do really I blame pretty much everything at this point because political agenda or not people genuinely just hate In media because they feel I mean, you could say that, but this ain't, it's, this ain't new, I'm gonna put it like that, it's been oh, around Oh, it's never been, it's years. never been around, but... Literally what this country is built off of. Anybody that says it's not clearly needs to revisit history. But like... You know, it is one of those things that are just like... It's prob it's it's a little bit of that. I'm not saying it's not. 100 percent it mm -hmm. is. But at the same time, people genuinely feel like that. It's not just because, oh, political agenda. It's literally they've already felt like that. Now they just get to openly be that way. Because media people said can you can be. At all. And even then, like I said, they were already like that. They just mm -hmm. didn't say it out loud because they would actually get ridiculed for it at one point in time for a very small history or point in time and that was literally a span of 30 years that was from the 70s to 2010s by the way that was that's not 30 years but that's like 40 50 years right 
and now it's getting back to the point where that crap's okay again. But we it's, don't know who to point at. Long. <laughs> we don't even know who to point at. I know exactly who to point at. There's a lot of factors in it. Yeah, I'm saying, like, I know who to point at. I'm just saying that freaking everybody else doesn't know who to point at. But they just point yeah. at a category. And I really wish that people would stop saying that you know, racism and crap like that isn't real, or white supremacy isn't real. I'm like, if it's not real, explain to me literally all the shit that has happened for like literally the whole expand of this country existing, including the reason why it exists. It used to be, place. it used to be real, but it, it just doesn't work here anymore. You can... I don't know. People that say that, I genuinely just say, literally, look everywhere around you and not just where you are, and you start to see it. I do, and I feel it's basically it's more people that are just rich that get it, and nothing else. I'm not saying that's not a factor either. I've because... already heard me this in the past too, with how people will call people such as you, dirty whites, people who like don't have enough money, or are just kind of like that. There's a whole thing about that too. People that were poor didn't have money. People that lived. Timbuktu, basically. The Timbuktu of Australia, which is just fucking Florida, if I'm being real with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People that lived in, like, the boonies of boonies. I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm not saying they didn't either. But I'm saying that that's still a thing. Whether it's you're rich or poor, people still took advantage of that. Not to say that if they were poor, they didn't have problems either. The sad part is, even if you were poor and white, especially back in those times, and still even now, you definitely had a lot more than people that were of color and poor. Not to say that you didn't have it rough either. But people that say it doesn't exist, literally, I, I don't understand why. Not to say that if you're poor that it doesn't exist, and not to say that if you're poor, it, you shouldn't complain about because that. how people like explain oh yeah voice well, supremacy like well whatever you consider that is we don't feel it we still yeah, have to work like a five said, to nine is, and like i said that's still a thing very much so for those who are poor it's a problem because people will literally just say some of the meanest crap because you yeah, know you yeah, aren't rich or anything and that's just everywhere at this point but like I said, to say it's not a thing literally would just require you to not pay attention to literally everything and compare it. I just say it's just more on the wealth versus this poor instead of basically a certain turn than anything else. I say it's both. Because basically, we still, like... Don't shoot that. Oh, I'm looking at your stream, not your camera. You uh. shot a keg and I was like, oh my god. Should hold why. Give it, give it, give it! That was a fairy! It could have helped you with you revive. No, it's gone. Uh, no. Fairies are the thing that I've been in Zelda for actual decades. If you grab a fairy, it will revive you. If you catch it. So if you die, you rely on the fairy and the fairy revives you with some health. I mean, you could also, like, use them to heal you, but who does that? Nobody does that. Nobody uses fairy to help you heal. They use it because they die. And the fairy gives its life to you. They literally sacrifice themselves for you. And disintegrate. Kind of messed up, but hey. That's what they do. That's what they want to do. They could just not revive you. Fisherman's shield. You got a crappier shield in your inventory. You may as well drop it for that one. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I think you have, like, a traveler shield or some shit. Something like that. You can use R. It's a lot faster. Yeah, that- the, go back, go back. It's that green one. Yeah, the hunter shield. Drop that mess. 
Let me get the ones at the chest. Yeah. There you go. Better shield. Better pizza. Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> Papa yep. John's suck, by the way. Fight me. All pizza kind of sucks, by the way. I don't really I don't really eat pizza in general. If it's there, I'll eat it. But if I were to get pizza, I would just make it myself. Like I said, you kind of like a person that is more like to prefer to eat things when it's made freshly. So it's like, I'm not really like, blaming you. It's just you. better. Everybody has different tastes, so. I mean, because I gotta spend more to get uh, like a selection of food that it probably is not very good for me in the first place. And then I could just make it myself, but better for cheaper and make like a but larger I'm amount not, of it. I'm not degrading you because of it. And that's not I'm what just I'm saying, saying at all. I'm just saying, literally, like, yeah, here's the reasons why. I'm not saying, like, how dare you. I was literally just saying, yeah, to clarify, yeah, that's why. Because it's just like, you. Fucking, I don't know. Papa John's cringe. That's all I gotta say about that one. But the only one pizza I don't mind is California Pizza Kitchen. But I barely eat that one either. They're all very... If I had to rank pizza places, that is like a B plus. That's very high for me. Everything lands in like D minus or F. B plus for me is the highest I've ever gone in a pizza place. There's like two pizza places that do that. Um... California Pizza Kitchen, and uh, there's a local place here that's so close to an A minus, but yet so far. I forget what it's called. Dante's Pizza. That one. Very much a B plus. So close to an A minus. So close. But I'm very picky when it comes to stuff like that. Oh, no, don't kill that horse! Action kill it, it's funny. <laughs> Listen to it scream. Go find one. Murder it. <laughs> Shoot the horse. Get the horse, okay. There you go. Shooting the horse is a lot easier than shooting the bacoblin on the horse because the bacoblin will just stay on the horse. Sometimes, anyway. Not all the time. But hey, yeah. yeah. Now back to the other topic. This world's cringe. Super cringe. I hope that one day... It won't be cringe. Which it won't be. It's gonna get destroyed before that happens. I can't wait for that. But this world's cringe. Humans are cringe. But you know what's not cringe? Animal. And plant. <laughs> I like my carnivorous plants. They're cute. They drool whenever there's meat nearby. You could pet them too when they love it. My plants do anyway. They die or get very weak when I'm nowhere near around. I know I could feed them meat, but when I come back, they strengthen up. What do you have? Venus fly traps. I have a pitcher plant. I have. Actually, I have a lot of Venus fly traps. Um, what's the other name of the? I have a list somewhere here because I had bought them. I know what they are, but I forget the name. Somewhere in my Google Drive. You know, picture uh, plants. You just Venus fly traps just need food, and they don't really need it for like. 
a while after. Yeah, they don't. You feed them like once a month or so. And they're pretty good. Got it. Picture plants are, I think it's relatively the same thing. Yeah. Uh, the other plant I have that I love the most, or not the most, but definitely a lot, is my sundew. There's a sundew plant. Basically what it does is you put a little bug in there, right? Or anything. Mm -hmm. It wraps its leaf and tendrils, like tentacles basically, around it. And it kills it. And eats it. It's so pretty. I love it. The pitcher plant's are pretty fucking cool. They're very tiny, but they're very great. And then... The other plant... I have, that's basically... A seam kind of plant. But not really. Like, it's, a, it's another pitcher plant. I forget what it's called, though. It's called a cobra lily? I'm looking at this one. Hold on, let me Google it. Because I, I just named this one lily, but it's obviously not a fucking lily. And maybe a cobra lily. No, it is a cobra lily. Here we go. They're very, very fun. It's called a California pitcher plant. But it's literally just a fucking very funny lily. And like all of these, you don't need to, um,. Fertilize the soil. You shouldn't fertilize the soil. They won't use it and they'll probably die. They kind of live without it. Yeah, they, they're self new. Uh, they, they, um. They get the nutrition from the. Thing you feed it, yeah. Because that's how they're designed. Mm hmm. So my cobra lily right now is already blown. They're very funny. It's gonna be wintering soon. Or by soon I mean like in... Like... November or some shit, so we should probably be careful with that and... I'll be back when that happens. It, they like it where it's like, wet and just... Sunny. Which is perfect for this place. So it sits outside, usually. My Cobra Lily does. It's inside during the winter months, but I keep it outside, usually. Because they love being blasted with sunlight. And you just gotta keep the soil wet. Which is easy, really. I just a shit ton of water on them and they just love it. And they love hearing me go near them. Sometimes I swear the little leaves move to face me when I get out there and they can hear me. And I just talk to them sometimes. And they took over lilies. But when everybody else gets near them, they don't like people. They only like me. I think you got all the wolves. Cobra Lily really loves me. All my plants do. So whenever I leave for extreme long periods of time, like when I go off for college, right? Mm -hmm. I just kinda... My mom was like, I think the plants are dying. And I'm like, they're not dead. 
they just don't like other people. So they just don't show themselves. In it. And when I come back home and I look at them and everything, right? And I speak with them. That's what they have the prettiest flowers. They eat the most. They become very large. They love me. Especially my little Venus flytrap. Literally refused to eat for a while when I wasn't there. And I was just like, why? Like, it almost died because of it. It refused to eat for like five months. Almost. And, like, I told my mom what to do to keep it alive, right? Mm -hmm. And then I came back, and now it wants to eat. <laughs> I was like, bruh. I told you I would return. I know it. I only come back a couple times. When do you, use, like, when do you, when do you usually to return? When do you usually leave? Uh, beginning of August, and then I come back summertime. So basically a year, almost a year. Um, yeah, that's the reason. Again. I know they 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 miss me. They hibernate. It's not like. Well, no, I know they hibernate, too. I'm not saying they don't do that. I know a lot about my plants, but it's the times when they're supposed to be around, they aren't. Some and they I have hibernate, a of... Like, some of them, I think some versions hibernate on, uh, on August, so... No, I know that part. They'll hibernate around August. It's the spring months that they're active. They were not active when I was not there. I knew exactly what time they're supposed to be. Like, I understand my plants perfectly. I had them long before I left. These ones, they literally just wouldn't do anything. Even though it was time for them to, and the weather was perfect. They just kinda didn't want to. This happened with my other flowers, too. My, um... I actually have no idea what species this is. I showed you the flower before. It's the one with the like pink, dark pink, red petals. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what species that is. I've tried to find out what it is. I haven't found out yet. It's been like two or three years and it's gone through four different generations of itself. Um, because they just self-produce. Yeah. They drop seeds during the uh, during August, March. In February, so February, March, and August, they drop seeds, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I just plant those or throw them out. They don't produce pollen. They just have these little, like, things that explode. Anyway, um... The fucking flower plant that I was talking about... That one, it is a year-round plant, except during... I guess it's not year-round. Winter, obviously. Not enough sunlight, not enough anything reserves energy. You get the idea. Aww. Well, he's dead for sure. I was like, aw, I wanted to do a sneak attack. Gwah! <laughs> just fell anyway. I knew it was gonna fall either way. I just wanted to do the sneak attack way, and it didn't work, so I was like, aww. So I just, <laughs> just disappointingly just whacked him off. But yeah, the, uh, that plant, for sure, cause it'll just start wilting and, like, not make as big flowers, even though it's supposed to during the springtime, right? One of these times, I should really show you my mom's garden. You must. But like the, it won't bloom. It won't. It's like she recently got some green. new. She recently just got some new flowers to put in the garden. Nice. And she's growing them in the pots right now. Before, at, at the moment, the so, yeah, she gets them young. And then once. I do the same. Once they get like uh. High enough, she puts it in the ground. In the directions, so. Nice. Yeah, but so when I'm one... alone, I have to, like, take care of them. Mm-hmm. Do you talk with them? No, but they... Uh, no, I don't usually. But I do give them the amount of water my mom tells me to. Yeah. 
You should talk with them at some point. They love human voices. And if you talk with them long enough, they'll build a relationship with you. I got a dog for that. <laughs> Plants do the same. I know. I think they are I know. Very... I'm just saying, like, basically, I'll just stick with the dog. Okay. And the plants are probably my mom's thing. Sing around the plants, you talk around the plants. Be very gentle and quiet around the plants. Oh, I- th that's easy for me, because I'm always quiet and- Mm-hmm. And exactly what they say. And since I'm quiet and very- Even though I'm, like, very big in size, I'm actually a light stepper. Yeah. So... I don't clump like my freaking brother. I'm a very light <laughs> stemper. Yeah. The reason why a lot of people are like, geez, for your size, you scare me. I've never heard you. I'm like, I get that a lot. <laughs> Fucking six foot two fifty pound man walking through hallway it's quiet. My brother's like that. My older brother, he is tall and he is a muscular. You don't hear him until he wants you to hear him. He just walks very quietly. Drop the arm. Yeah, that little tiny okay. Ooh. If you shoot those yellow thingies, it'll electrocute them again. It's enough to just basically just finish him off. Because he's next to a cliff. Well, pick up the yellow thingies. Yellow choo choo jelly has the property of it. Electricity. I think I noticed after I shot it with a bomb arrow. Like I was saying, my plants really love me, but only when I'm around and when I take care of them and speak with them do they produce the most prettiest petals I've ever seen. But when my mom tries to take care of them, they don't react to it. They don't care. She's tried talking to them. I said, talk with them. Maybe they like you. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't care. They want me back. Yeah, I'm not getting those because they went straight up. Oh, never mind. I see them. I thought they would. They landed right off the cliff. Maybe one did. My favorite kind of plants are just carnivorous plants. I think they're just cute. They're funny. <laughs> they like candy. Don't give them candy, but they like candy. I figured this out when I was a little kid. Really fucking love sugar. <laughs> Doesn't hurt them, but like you still just shouldn't give them candy. Probably not good for them if you do it too much. And gave one a Skittle. And I just fucking love that shit. Then I saw part of it turn, like, purple, from the purple Skittle. I thought that was funny. You can see, like, where it digested all that and where it absorbed it at. My favorites are the pitcher plants, though. They're so funny. They just have little digestive juices. Digest everything. 
but it's like sickly sweet. At least that's what it smells like. And that's why they can lure stuff to it. They lure it in with the nectar and then they just fuck it up. Cool. <laughs> hey, there's a chest over there. Put that other metal block on top of that metal block. We will. I was just gonna see if we can grab this chest. There's a couple, actually. The reason why I was saying this is because you can't reach a chest from anywhere. Oh, well, maybe you, you can reach it from there. I never tried it from there. I always just grabbed it from the middle of the pond, so I didn't know that part. You could grab the chest from. Nothing like being able to blow things up. Eh. My, uh... My favorite, my, basically, my special weapon is explosives. You've seen me play freaking... Like... Resident Evil. Explosives yep. is a lifesaver. <laughs> oh, a sapphire. But yeah, what was I saying? Plants, love them. Animals, love them. I need a cat. And a pigeon. And a dog. Especially the pigeon. And cats. They're so cute. And they're so smart, too. If I get a pigeon... I will randomly call you, and I will show you the pigeon. Not if, <laughs> when. Wait. Can I just go? Uh... Trying to get to this tower and this tower here because it's gonna end stream soon. Yep. So I was gonna expect like uh, do this tower and it's probably a good place to stop. It's starting to get cold. You know what? Yeah, just in case if I do something stupid.
like start taking damage from hyperthermia or something like that. There we go. Here you go, Gib. Usually it just auto saves right as you get to a tower. Should I save just in case? <laughs> yes. Got a ways to go. Yep. I'm guessing that's the beast. Yeah. A giant castle. A giant camel. <laughs> Why a camel? <laughs> because it's a desert. It could have been like, I don't know, rattlesnake? Why are you so upset about this? <laughs> because camel, I think, camel, I think commercial. Why do you think commercial? Wednesday. What is what? So you're mad at the game for your own stupidity? No, I'm mad at myself for my own stupidity. Okay. <laughs> but thanks for tolerating it, anyways. You are welcome. Anytime. And I shall see you next time, uh, Zuzu. See ya. As for things here, before basically I say anything else. I want to say a couple things, which is basically tomorrow we will be doing um, Subnautica. So if you want me want to watch me try this survive an ocean with tons of alien water creatures, there's that. I'm trying to still try to figure out how to get through that game. I think we're getting close to trying to fixing the big ship over there. So if you're interested in watching that stream tomorrow, uh, feel free to stop by. Um, Give me a sec, and uh, if you, those are, uh, head now, I hope to see you next time, uh, those are just waiting for me to raid, uh, do a raid, just give me a sec, and I'll see what I can find.
How about we do, uh... Newman. I've seen him uh, come to my stream from time to time and watch my uh, stuff. Like, uh, he was here when I did Mortuary Assistant. So, let's read him. He's doing take two with, uh, with a friend of his, I think. So, if you want to watch him play take two, it looks like he's almost done with it. But, uh, if you want to watch the rest of it, with him and watch him you can until then but uh, like I said if you're heading out thanks for coming and uh, I shall see you next stream see you in Subnautica everybody No, oh, that sucks. Well, that sucks. I guess he doesn't want people to raid at the moment. Mm. Not much people around this. Right now, like as small as me to raid at the moment. So I guess, uh, I guess I'll just happen to end here, so sorry for those who are trying to, but those who wanted to go over, uh Newman B A is his Twitch and this uh is his Twitch name. Just go over there and uh say hi for me and I shall see you next time. Later all. <laughs>